Okay, there we go. We are live. Now, can I add oh, no. the widget? Can I add the widget? How long does it take to set all that up? Uh, not too long. Will I lose my broadcast if I do? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh-oh, I feel like it might happen now. <laughs> go, Joel, go. Joel, go. Oh, man, I don't know what to do here. I'm in a quandary. Live your dreams, man. <laughs> Live your dreams. Let's see if I can find it here. All right. So... While we're getting everything up and running, uh, how is everybody? Good, wonderful, cool, the best ever. Cool. All right. So, what were we doing? I don't know. It's like you guys are in the desert. You're gonna go inside a temple. You're here for some sort of special artifact. Um. Sand everywhere. Yep. So. Sand coffee. Yeah. yeah, I remember sand coffee. Sand. So you guys. Uh, you guys started off uh, in a tavern. Um, Grigori had some news about a quest where you're going to find this artifact. It's got um, serpents around it, with like a sun in the middle. Um, and uh, the uh, commissioner is offering a pretty hefty price for it. I think it was 175 gold was the price. And um, so you guys took it. And um, you first made a stop off in town to get some supplies. Uh, yep. Then you managed to charter a caravan uh, via an Don't iron forget wall. that I found that pet dragon. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, not even in the slightest. That's a good try. Yeah. That's a good try. Um, I, I did. I did re-listen to it just today. So. Oh dang. Yeah. Two of um, us did have pets, but it, unfortunately, neither of them were were like big dragons. Yeah, you've got a griffin <laughs> kitty, and then Iron Wall's got a rat. Um, and so uh, then you stopped off in the small little time of Lenisa. Um, where you shook down the dwarf who didn't really have anything, and um, <laughs> his dis- squirrel paw. Yeah, <laughs> sure did. And you perused some some bad some bad edibles, <laughs> rotting food. And, yeah, and then uh, then you guys decided uh, it was a crap town. You get the on. fuck out of there. <laughs> so as you got uh, as you got your way into the desert, uh, you were beset upon by uh, some sand people, um, but you managed to dispatch them without any real major issue. Um, and then you've made it here to the entrance of the sort of uh, desert dungeon uh, here in the cursed desert by the sea. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? I don't know. Are you going to go in? <laughs> I don't I know. I mean, I take it we've at least got to try the key out. Well, this time or, well, I have that whole ring of keys, but they were supposed to be like from for the yeah. dwarf's house or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you Same guys. People's house. You guys, as you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Oh, um, so you may have to reset your um, camera within roll twenty if you started up with the the V cam. My sound's gone. No, you're not. You're good. No, we can hear you. Uh-oh. Maybe he can't, he hear, can't us. hear us. Mm. Oh. You lied to me. <laughs> uh, oh, well, faster. that's good. Okay. At least you can yeah. hear me. I can't hear you. Yeah. Mm. Mysteries. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let me turn my other thing off and see if I can get it come back up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it didn't work. Nothing. No, nothing. I guess not. Let's see. Let refresh that page. Do, 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 do. Oh, while well, he's figuring that out, I'll be right back. Oh no. Everyone's leaving. He still got bloopity schnoopels as his avatar. Yeah, I was like, did did Iron Wall turn into a squid? He did, and then he just disappeared entirely. Oh, 
Did that fix it? Can you hear us? I don't know. Can you hear I us? can hear you now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Uh, this is we lost a member. Good job. Good job. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say we lost somebody. What happened? I just went off the screen for a second. It's yeah. Gone. He, he just disappeared on us. He was One like, life nope. for another. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's so equivalent sad. exchange. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's a different game. I, I'm down to do a Full Metal Alchemist game though at one point. I one shot. I'm excited. That would be really awesome. Yeah. No, okay, that would be fun. I have the uh, equi equivalent exchange tarot cards. They're amazing. We're loading in. Do, do, do. Loopity schnoopers. He's loading. He's loading. Loopity schnoopers. Uh, so I get uh, at the bottom of the uh, the casting software it gives me stats about like GPU usage and CPU usage and stuff, and um, so right now it's I mean this is eating up about twenty percent, twenty six percent of my GPU or my CPU and about thirty seven percent of my GPU hmm. in seven hundred and three megabytes. There's postings. Come on now, what's happening? Um, schnoopels. So on the uh, on the squid, there's a uh, there's like these two gray dots on it, but they mm -hmm. trip me up because they, they make me think my screen's dirty because it's like just like the yeah. perfect discoloration of screen. Mhm. Mm so Danica, you're standing outside the uh, the dungeon in the in the desert. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to die, even though I probably will. Are you doing your chinchilla roll in the cold sand? Probably, yeah. <laughs> but nothing ever happens because I'm magically scotch guarded. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get sewer dirty. Oh man. Looks like a. The tough life. Iron Wall Brooks Internet. There he is. What you doing there, Iron Wall? Uh, I'm just clearing a bunch of shit. I had way too much shit open. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so let's go explore a dungeon, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, let's world the dungeons. Dungeon the world. It's 175 gold. And who knows what else in the dungeon? And who knows what else in the dungeon? That's right. Maybe someone else to almost mug. I was thinking that you know the 175 gold was like a promise that we would that they expected us to die and that there is no gold. Yeah. It's just <laughs> chocolate wrapped coins. That would be sad. <laughs> I'm still okay with this. I, I, I'm going to tell you fictionally from the future that you go into the cave. <laughs> no. Cool. I'm gonna use my fancy new key to see if we can get in. It's the doors are it's, it's wide open. It's just an open I have system. a ring of keys. We'll just start sticking them into the sand and see what happens. You guys always <laughs> just want to insert things into things. Plant, plant the keys and see if something grows. Cool. We come back out. There's a key tree. That'd be amazing. Fantastic. So you uh, you enter the dungeon. We're just doing it. Back and <laughs> <right in. laughs> oh no! Go away. There we go. There we go. Now things exist. Cool. So as soon as you enter the dungeon, um, you notice, I mean, it's pretty, like, dilapidated inside, but you can see... Because that bridge like, looks shaky as shit. There's, there's sort of, um, mm -hmm. it's an open cavern uh, with stalactites and stalagmites all over the place. And um, there's, like, sort of a bridge system that sort of leads uh, further into the cave. Um, there's some, like, little, like, waterfall going on. Well, a little. I mean, it's kind of large-ish. Um, but you get a waterfall and stuff flowing around. Um, it's dark, but um, there is some illumination in the distance. Um, what do you want to do now that you're sort of in this area? I want to play in the waterfall, but I know that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I mean, you can do what you want, right? Yeah. No, I cannot. My better senses tell me no. No? Yeah, it's looking pretty evil. It's just a cavern, you know, in the desert. I am going to pull my shield in front of me and cautiously move forward. Yeah. Now, With refreshing water, do I have, like... 
Do, Since evil or does, <laughs> hold does, on. Does does does, does anyone find the water fall in the middle of the desert odd? No. I, no, I, I of course I do. That's why I'm not it. touching it. Yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? This place creepy as shit. I think it's time to detect some magic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that, a, there's magic. is that a cantrip or something? Probably. Um, that is a first level spell. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So it's gonna be two d sixes. Yeah. Um, that's a nine. Cool. Uh, you detect magic. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> what a shock! You don't say. It's um, a part of the desert. I'm so surprised. I also want to cast a spell. Are you hold on, hold on. Let's, we'll, we'll, well, are you casting that in conjunction with her cast? Uh, detect magic. Yes, I'm casting detect alignment. Okay. Kind of what, magic. what are you detecting the alignment of? Uh, evil. I mean, of the cave in general, or I mean the rocks. What do you? What, who's water? Uh, one of my senses is briefly able to detect that alignment. You'll just tell me what here is of that alignment. Okay. So right, I guess cool. if it's like super far off, I wouldn't be able to sense it, obviously. Okay. But all right, cool, cool. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, roll just for in that. this general area. The water's evil. Uh, what do you roll on with spells? Intelligence. Um, it should say on your sheet. Well, since I'm taking from uh. Cleric, my cast of spell is intelligence. I can tell then, you if actually I have the cleric. So the cleric might be wisdom. I want to say that it is. It's wisdom for a cleric. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. That explains why I made it sixteen. Cool. Other paperwork. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I have my stack. In that case, that is a nine. Cool. Yeah, so nines you're, all around. You're searching for evil, yes? Yes. Cool. Um. It's there. Let's, 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 let's Mike's talk. like, is it evil or is it just normal that's about to kill you? Let's, I don't know. Let's talk to Danica real quick about her detect magic first, right? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Let's let's fill me in on that. So wisdom you, me. You you detect uh, magic um, sort of uh, throughout the caverns. Um, the water does seem to have some magical properties. Um, so you sense like a pulsating magic coming from that. Um, it doesn't feel good or bad. It just it just is. Um, Maybe you, I uh, should bathe in it. Yep. Uh, you definitely <laughs> you definitely have, have detect that um, sort of the deeper in things go, the the denser the magic is. So um, it seems like you know the, there's magic. Um, more and more magic as you would possibly progress through this. Um, for Iron Wall. Um, you detect evil sort of everywhere? <laughs> okay, so don't bathe in the fountain. Um, this has been a journey. Uh, I would like to say that my <laughs> sense was smell, by the way. Well, that's the one that's oh, able to detect alignment. Let me, let me what describe, does evil smell like? Let me describe your detection of the evil. That's like right? evil. Right. Um, so you don't feel any one major source of the evil. It's just sort of like this... Um, all around sort of aura of evil um and it's it's not coming from necessarily the air around you but like uh, kind of the i don't know the walls and the stones themselves you can't feel it coming from them so not the water guys we need to kill the rocks <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay we t we stab the rocks with the rocks smart place yeah also, if the if the water is not bad or good magic, but it is the magicy magic, magicy magic. We can go play. We can go play in the fountain. And technically, I can sanctify it. You can sanctify it. Yeah, uh, I got access to all three of the uh, roads of a cleric, as well as a couple of the level one spells. Oh, and by the way, since I rolled a seven to nine on it, I went ahead and pulled up a cleric sheet too, since I'm probably gonna need it. Yeah. Uh. I have to choose one. I'm going to say that I can't cast that spell until I commune again. Okay. Guys, this place is pretty evil. <laughs> you know, I kind of thought that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What's uh, Gregory up to this whole time? He's just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> He, he doesn't like this, uh, this game very much. It's making him feel a little weird, but he's ready to punch some rocks. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Cool. 
He's just watching these two like, yeah, it feels evilly. We gotta stab the water! <laughs> <laughs> that water is wet. Oh, cool, yeah. Well, yeah, do you, do you explore the water? Do you make your way across the ridges? Do you, like, knock on the walls? What do you What do? You do? I'm still gonna pull my tower shield forward and start moving across the bridge. Okay. We're gonna have to progress. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're not, we're, not, we're not gonna spend two hours just standing in front of the ridge, I don't think. I, I would this hope bridge, not. Yeah, we're gonna, this we start bridge our coffee might shop. be made of wood, guys. <laughs> it's like, can we roll to detect if the bridge is made of wood? Or people? <laughs> wood? <laughs> people made of wood? <laughs> Full house, sorry. Can't yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, oh, Lannis Morissette. Yep. Where's, uh, yeah. Uh, do you guys have, like, Twitch pulled up? Like, if there's, like, chat? No. Please. No? Nope. Yeah. I, f I feel bad the last time we were in, we didn't get to, like, respond to people. Um. That's fair. And I'm now gonna pull up Twitch because of that. Yeah, now I'm... <laughs> it's so funny, because <laughs> I did the same thing. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. I refuse. Well, Joel, you know, I guess you're not a joiner. That's fine. Yep, that's right. I refuse. Yeah. Well, Joel, you know, okay. I guess you're not a joiner. That's fine. Yep, that's right. Yeah. I gotta turn well, down the volume. You know, oh, I gotta get echoes. Yep, that's right. Yeah, quite cool. Um, One viewer, which that means. <laughs> which is, you know, I think. Nobody! It's, it's, it's me, probably. Oh, yeah, we changed it to Defy Danger. Yes, we did. How about just All right, Mike, once oh, I've got a picture on, pick, how do this. I put it up okay. behind Whew. me? Better. <laughs> um, you uh, pull up that software. Yep. And you get a. Um, like somewhere there's like add a picture or something. Yep. Yeah. So you put it on Did there, it. and you just, uh, you remove your background, and then you click on it. Um, once you do it in, in that program, you'll probably have to refresh um, your roll twenty in order for it to like get the cam though. So. So you go to move your background. Let's see where is that at? Remove your background. It should be to the top um, right, maybe. Let's see tools. Ah, okay. Cool. Where? There we go. That's what I wanted. Stream chat. Cool. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Um. There we go. No, nope, that's not work. That work. People are disappearing. Disappearing. So yeah. Uh, so you're starting to make your way across the bridge, then, guys. Yeah. Yes. Are, are you leaving? Are you leaving the water alone, then? I presume. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna touch. I feel that. like I feel like this is the uh, the cod piece worm incident all over again, and I will not be the person that that, that fucks us this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool. So you start inching your way across the bridge. Um, it starts to creak. Uh, are you all just sort of one right behind the other? Who is behind me? Because obviously, with the shield, I'm up front. Yeah. I guess I'll be going next, and I'm very carefully holding on to the railing and okay. making my way swiftly but lightly across. Cool. And then I will wait and see uh, what Grigori is up to when he reloads in. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna now be up half of the night making sure I get this shit working properly. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching you guys. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. But you don't yeah. have but you don't have a background. I know I don't. It makes me sad. Disappointed. Whoa, there are four wait, it's all of us, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. Jeez. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Twitch. You're like, oh my god, we're exploding. Oh. <laughs> with, with ourselves. We're exploding with ourselves. It's fine. Um, uh, all right, cool. Blow it up. Yeah, well, the Mario game blew up, but I, I also I advertised it pretty good, and it's also it's Mario, right? Yeah. 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 Um. All right, cool. So, um, I was saying I was bringing up the rear. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. So you walk across the bridge. Um. You know, you sort of pass by the waterfall. Um. And um, as you pass by it, it almost has like a floral smell coming off of it. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nice. And you keep you keep making your way. Um. And uh, the bridge starts to creak and crack a little bit more. Uh, could I get everyone to roll Defy Danger? Of course. Sweet. What are we rolling on? 
Uh, you, uh, this will be on Sadness. De this will be on Dex. No. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh God, Dex, are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Would have been a ten, on. but it was a nine. It's yeah. an eleven. Oh, Goodness. here we go. Please, 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 and hey, cool. So I got a seven. Just okay. good enough. <laughs> All right, cool. So um, you got a seven, uh, and then Gorm. You got a got a nine, nine, and Danica got. I got an eleven. These go um, in the good dice corner. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, Gorm, your uh, your foot slips through one of the boards, right? Um, you catch yourself, but your foot's sort of like stuck a little bit into the boards. Um, oh no! This this causes a ripple in the uh, the thing, uh, Grigori. Um, you falter slightly uh, and have to like cling to the rope. Uh, Danica being in the middle is um, held on tight and not moved. Um, but you're all okay. I uh, just had sort of Cut slight, my foot off. It's lost. You just had a slight episode <laughs> with it. No. Um, we fall into the danger water. Are, are you are you pulling your foot foot free or? No, I can't progress any further without it. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> just, just saw it off. <laughs> right, right. I mean, you, you could you could roll for strength or you could use a skill of some sort. If someone had a skill, but you know that's up to you guys. Just just. Just saw it off and then cleric heal it back on. I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Fair, I could. <laughs> you actually could, but that's a long way around. Let's not do that. That is true. Uh, I, I'm just going to pull my foot out with strength then. Yeah, all right. Okay. With a nine. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. You, nice. Uh, you pull your foot out. Uh, you, you do uh, scrape it uh, as you're pulling it out. Um, you're just going to take a two damage, deduct your armor from that or whatever, um, as you scrape your leg coming on the way out. Uh, but it's out. Thank um, God I bought that ankle armor. <laughs> we, we, we're we're going to assume you're being a paladin. You're fairly armored. Right? Yes, I'm. It's, I'm quite it's armored. A pewter, it's a pewter anklet. Yeah. With a holy symbol on it. <laughs> Pewter's a terrible metal. It's super soft. Um, it's the uh, magical property. It's not the uh, weird. Anyways. Um, the traditional. Yes, armor. it's magically delicious. Yeah, I may be going delicious. crazy from pewter poisoning, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you do manage for yourself, uh, and you guys sort of uh, start making your way into the next chamber uh, where it's sort of a little more lit. Um, do you have any apprehensions before you like sort of make cross the threshold into the next room? All the apprehensions. So yeah. give me one moment. Yeah, this place is evil. I have nothing but apprehension and a shield. Yeah. The, the water was calling with, to me with its silent song. I couldn't. Let's see. None of this is gonna work here. All right, cool. Um, Pen. Pens are important. Better pen. I don't have better There's pen. no corpses around here, is there? Um, not that you see. I don't think we have. I don't think cool. we have detect corpses. <laughs> we have eyes, don't we? <laughs> you have eyes. <laughs> yeah, you got you a point. Uh, um. Guys, there's no dead bodies around here, but what about that dead body? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I rolled a one on perception. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, hey. Just to, before we cross the threshold, just to protect myself, I'd like to cast invisibility. You can, sure. I cast shield. I don't cast invisibility. <laughs> so you're casting that at the, uh, the entrance. You're still in the cave, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is anyone else doing anything before, <laughs> before we resolve that? Nope. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm gonna level this character so hard. Yep. <laughs> so you start uh, you start casting and um uh when you do, uh you all sort of um hear sort of this scratching and chittering uh no! Just all around you. Oh, delightful. Uh, cool. <laughs> something, something is definitely like uh, going on, sort of, it. in the general area. Um, but nothing, nothing is. Uh, you don't see anything yet. Uh, do you want to do anything? Do you want to just hurry to the next room, or do you want to stay here and investigate? Or I think, guys, I think we should GTF out here, unless uh, that's where the, unless where the, unless where, that's where the pendant is. 
If we're gonna GTFO, I'm gonna have y'all go first, and I'm gonna bring up the rear with my shield. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Cool. Should probably go. So you're sort of like backing into the to the room uh, a little <laughs> bit. Um, cool. So you uh, you make your way into the next room and oh I, no, and I click Still things delightful. so you can see it. Um, come on now. There's those corpses you're talking about. I see them with my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yep. <laughs> I've been looking for those. <laughs> so as you. Uh, as you get in the room, uh, the scratching and stuff—it's in the other room. It's still loud, uh, but uh, you walk into this room, and um, there there are some some corpses, some mummies. Um, you know, it's a, sort of like a temple um, mausoleum or shrine or some something. Uh, some of it is dilapidated; it's, it's crushed. But you're you're in this room. Um, is is there anything that you do in here? Right? Is there anything yes. you want to look at or explore? So some of these corpses are just like open face, like you can yeah. just see the bodies. Yeah, yeah. Open face. Cool. Corpses. You get some open face corpses, and then you have the uh, the um, sort of. The I'm gonna talk to one. The one that's okay. okay. Yeah, you, you can try. Uh, yeah, I think we do that. Are you talking to? Adele? I have skill? speak with dead skill uh, spell, so yeah. I'm gonna cast the speak with dead spell. Yeah, do it. Okay, that is still in wisdom. That is why am I so far away? No, I am not speaking with them at all. Cool. Uh, so you've got one to the left and one to the right. Uh, is there anyone in particular you were going to talk to? Nope. I was just going to ask him what was going on. Uh, pick one. <laughs> uh, let's go with oh, the left. No. All right. Go ahead and ask your question. Oh, good. <laughs> what Yay! the hell is it? My question was, what the hell is in here? So uh, you're, you're asking its question, casting your magics. Um, and uh, as soon as you ask the question... Uh, its its arm uh, reaches forward and grabs you by the back of the head and pulls your your face close to it uh, in a very quick motion. Um, and it says, Who dare desecrates the sanctum of the unholy? Um, and uh, as he's doing that, the other one starts stepping out of its its uh, tomb in the wall. Uh, what, are the, what are you guys doing? And that's when you surprise kiss the corpse. I'm gonna be like, oh good, and how were those? <laughs> well, I'm gonna confuse them by mimicking the corpse. Um, Just dies. <laughs> what, what is? Do you? Is that an ability you've got? Third level spell, yeah, mimic. All right, what does it do? You take on the form of someone you touch by casting the spell. Your physical characteristics match theirs exactly, but your behavior may not. It cha this change persists until you take damage or choose to return to your own form. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can you can do that, and I would grant you a uh, plus one to charisma um, when dealing with them in it, if that's something you want to do. Uh, I don't know, because there's only, there's not many things that you can convince them of, and I'm not I'm not into that. <laughs> so let's just go for combat. Cool. All right. Not a corpse fucker, sorry. All right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to headbutt this corpse. All right, all right. Cool. I roll on strength for it. Fantastic. That's a five. <laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, you... Uh, not as tough as it looks. You, you try and, like, because in order because he's got you right up against his face. So in order to headbutt, you'd have to, like, rear back, right? So you go rear back, but he tightens his grip, and you can't move your head. Um, and uh, he says, oh... That won't work on me. And then he opens his mouth, um, like, and you can see like the uh, the bandages start to rip and tear as his mouth opens as wide as your head. Um, and he bites you in the face, right? Thank and, you. And let's not forget that you're a troll. Your face is pretty dang big, right? So his mouth yes, widens no. to master for you. Well, yeah, <laughs> mm, you'd be like, Aw, he oh, he likes you, oh, right? Um, <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, he, he bites you in the face, uh, and he's sort of like latched onto your face. Uh, you take three damage, um, when that happens. Um, what, uh, what are the rest of you doing? Yikes. Yes, we gotta help him, cause damn. I mean, do we? Don't, don't you forget. just screaming. Don't forget that the other one is, is, is stepping out of his, his 
tomb as this is happening and advancing on you. Oh god, um, why is it still wet in here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grigori is going to uh, punch the one with his head in, in its. Okay. <laughs> with his head in All right. mouth, I guess. Thank you! You're welcome. All right, so that's on strengths. That's a nine. Cool. All right, yeah, roll, so for, that's roll for some damage. All right, this dude's a D10 here. So we'll hit a D10 and a D4. That is seven damage. Cool. Um, so uh, tell me tell me how you do it. All right, I'm going to run up, and uh, I'm going to just hit him right in the freaking, like, his hip. I'm going to try to, like, uppercut his hip to try to get him to, like, spit him out and fling him sideways. Okay. Um, so um, when, you, uh, when you hit him... Um, when you the initial hit, um, you get a nice solid contact, um, and then uh, just after the solid contact, um, all of the bandages drop to the floor limp, um, and then um, form just a foot away and back into the figure. Um, he's definitely taking some damage, um, but um, he is now off of Gr uh, Gorm's face. Um, but um, whilst whilst you were doing that. Um, you didn't notice the uh, bandages that were wrapped around your legs, uh, and the one who oh, stepped great. out of the wall uh, jerks his hands up and uh, drops you face first into the ground, um, and you take three damage on that as you hit the ground. Um, and Danica, what are you doing? Uh, less with the one that is away from everybody. I think we need to get some fireball in here because they look awfully flammable. All right. Fourteen. So okay. that is happening, guys. Yeah. I think you probably get some so, extra, extra stuff on a on ten plus on that too, don't you? Yeah. Um. It doesn't say. Well, let's see. Cast a spell. Burn the heretics and holy hellfire. It's successful, and I can cast again later. Okay. So. 2d6s. It'd be cool if you gave me something that was basically a d20, but... Yeah. Uh, well, since since they're made of bandages and they're probably old and musty, um, I will give you an additional d4 damage. Ooh, okay. I just rolled my two sixes. And a d4. Okay, so that's an additional one. So, we have 12. And which one is that on? That was on the one that was away from everybody, not the one that was chewing on Iron Wall, okay. but the other one. So the one that tripped up Grigori then? Yep. Okay, and that was 12 you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All right, tell me how you set him blaze. It won't kill him, but it certainly will do a lot of damage. Well, that fireball, I get it started, and I'm like, hey, over here. And he's just like, huh? <laughs> and, mm -hmm. yeah, it just kind of just sets a blaze from the feet up and just starts okay. screaming. <laughs> cool, yeah. Um, so yeah, you set him on fire, and um, he's he's a flame, and um, he's uh, you can see the uh, the bandages um, as he's catching on fire. Uh, the whole thing uh, turns inside out, uh, turning the flames inward, um, and eventually snuffing them out. Um, but he's still smoking. You still see some. Some um, cinders and stuff on on him, uh, and he's smoking as, as sort of he's turned himself inside out. What's uh, Ironwall doing? Uh, after rubbing his face of all the weird saliva, he's gonna attack the one that bit him. Okay. Two D six. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> and that's D ten. For eight damage. Dang, that's a lot. Nice. Cool. Uh, still not dead, but it's definitely like in a bad way. Tell me what you do. Uh, I'm going to run up to him and be like, "You son of a bitch!" And I'm gonna just take a hack at his side. All right. Um. So you're just like, okay. So you're you're just coming right, yeah. right. Uh, okay. Yeah. So as you while at least swinging, trying to get yeah. through him. Yeah, so as you uh, as you go to cleave him, uh, you do manage to sever the bandages um, in the center, um, and uh, they fall again uh, into two piles, um, and then reform into two smaller zombies, two smaller uh, mummies. 
Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Um, Damn, I could burn them all. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, you are fire resistant. You can hold them in place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you have an advantage. So, uh, Grigori, uh, you're getting yourself off the ground. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to attack the same butt that uh, I just attacked a minute ago that had uh, Iron Wall's uh, head in its okay, mouth. Okay, so, th so the one that's now two. Yes. Okay. Which of the which of the two are you attacking? Um, the one that I originally attacked. No, no, no. So the so the one that that got Iron Wall first, he just sliced it in half and it became two tiny mummies. He. Punt the mini mummy. <laughs> so, so, I don't know. Were we just going to call it one and two then? Yeah, yeah you, you're going to call it uh, uh, thing number one. And mini me and Dotson. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll attack thing number two. All right, cool. We're going to call that uh, one, we're going to call that one bottom. <laughs> the the bottom. Top. Okay, I'm going to attack bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Always attacking the bottom. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you take uh, bottom, I'll take top. All right, that's eight. All right, roll for damage. Jeez, man. All right. <laughs> that's a seven. That's a three. And another three. All right, cool. That's 13 I, damage. I'm uh, I'm going to give you uh, the ability to, to attack them both. And you'll kill them both. Cool. So uh, tell, tell me the dual attack and how you get them. All right. So uh, I go at the one. And uh, I just do like a, a really quick cross. And I catch one in the head as the other one's jumping. And it... And it connects with the other one, so both their heads clink together, and I just finish right into the ground, smash them. Okay, cool. Both. Um, yeah, um, and when you do, the um, the bandages all fall to the ground, uh, and they, they they start to disintegrate uh, into dust um, as uh, as they sort of dissipate into nothingness. Um, the uh, the other one, the mummy that's left, the one that was on fire and put himself out. Um, you see his bandages start just uh, leaving him, like like uh, trailing away, uh, and they start um, feeding into the uh, sarcophagus in the center of the room uh, through the cracks. Um, while this is happening, Danica, what are you doing? We need to stop those bandages from making it to the sarcophagus. Is there any way to do that? Can we burn up the bandages? Maybe. Yeah, try something. Sure, I'm gonna fireball the fucking bandages headed for the sarcophagus <laughs> because right. that looks like a problem. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight, and ten. That's a ten. Okay. All right. And that's a twelve. Okay, cool. Um, and so I know uh, they're just bandages, so I'm really hoping that this hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you you fire. Um, you hit the bandages as they're feeding in. Um. Uh, om almost uh, like a fuse, it follows the bandages into the sarcophagus, uh, blowing the top of it off. Um, no! And, um, so the top blows it off, <laughs> uh, and um, in the center of it, this sort of like pharaoh-looking character rises out of it. He's of on fire. He though. He's on fire, though, right? He's nice. on fire. Um, the uh, the other mummy is no more, um, but uh, the one the the uh, pharaoh that's on fire. Um, Go ahead and um, roll your standard damage. Okay, standard damage? Yeah. All right. I wanted to roll my fireball damage. <laughs> well, you, you did fireball damage, right? You, you, yeah, okay. You, you already... Standard damage, I got. It. I rolled a two. Cool. Um, so he's going to start off with a, little, with a little bit of damage already taken off of his life as well. Okay. Um, and he won't, because he was going to have the life of the mummy added to him, but he won't now. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Um... Cool. So the uh, the pharaoh rises up out of the uh, sarcophagus, um, and he's like I said, he's he's sort of on fire at this moment, um, and uh, he uh, he he raises both arms up, um, and as he does, uh, the door in which you entered from, uh, that scratching noise that you heard before, um, is almost deafening, and the room starts being flooded with scarab beetles. Um, of course it does. Oh, yep, exactly. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> uh, and so now the room is crawling with, uh, with, you know, hundreds of scarab beetles. Uh, but um, and and it, the uh, the room starts to go dark as they block out the light sources 
Um, what is uh, what is Ironwall doing? Screaming like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> First they get eaten, then there's bugs. What the hell is going on? Oh no, Grigori! Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to put him back in his sarcophagus. I'm gonna I'm gonna work. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try and grapple him and wrestle him down into the sarcophagus. So you're gonna like tackle him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. In any cool part of his costume that would be much appreciated. Cool. By I the mean... way, while I'm doing it, I'm gonna shout more fire. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, go ahead. That's a ten. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, and then um, roll, roll for some damage, too, while you're doing it. Sweet. One. Wow, you suck Because I'm just tackling him. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, tell, tell me how you tackle him, and you both fall back into the sarcophagus. Tell me kind of how it goes. Uh, so he stood up out of his sarcophagus, raised his arms, the scarabs started flooding in. I take a running sprint, and I hold my tower shield out in front of me and just bash into him and just fall on top of him. Shouting, MORE FIRE! <laughs> he, calls it, he calls it the danger cuddle. <laughs> um, what is uh, what is Grigori doing while he's doing this? Oh god, I don't even know. You're surrounded, uh, by, you're surrounded by beetles too, they're, they're filling in the room. Yeah, I know. Uh... <laughs> Grigori doesn't like these bugs. These bugs make him feel bad. He saw this movie once uh, acted out in a, in a place uh, where they ate people from the inside out, and it freaked him out. Yeah, I mean, you can you can attack uh, bunches of them at a time if that's something you want to do. You could... <laughs> no, because as soon as I punch them, they're gonna crawl up on me and eat me. This you could do happening. it Nathan Drake style, pull a torch out of your uh, bag and just wave it at him. <laughs> <laughs> More fire! <laughs> just a fireball fire! in every direction. If I could fire, I would do fire. Um... You can pull a torch out of your bag if that's something you want to do. Yeah, screw it. Uh, I'll, I'll pull a fucking torch out of my bag and light that bitch, and we'll see what happens. I like how Mike's like he's dead. <laughs> yeah. um, so you pull out your torch, um, and uh, let me get your roll to fight danger as you swing cool. it at the, uh, the beetles, I guess. With strength, right? Yeah, it's a nine. That's cool. a twelve. Cool. Um, so uh, well, swing my night. torch with vigor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then oh, let's, let's, let's roll for some damage too. Uh, you can. Um, against these with the torch, um, you can roll uh, your standard damage plus an additional d4. Cool. Oh man, that's so much damage. It's three damage, <laughs> man. That torch <laughs> jacked their ass up. Cool. Cool, cool. You killed three beetles. Uh, so you swing, you swing the torch at uh, the beetles. Uh, you only catch three of them because you're trying to keep your distance. Um, the ones you do catch with the torch uh, do explode with a, a little bit of area of effect. You manage to get out of the way in time. Um, before they, because they like fireworks, like they like pop, pop, pop. Um, and uh, you, you jump, but you jump out of the way, and they, they are just, those three of them are destroyed as the room still continues to be filled. Danica, what are you doing? Um, fireball. Okay. Yes, right. fire them all. Since Iron Wall was yelling more fire, um, yeah. And 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 Grigori's not near any of that. Um, okay. Whatever beetles are around the sarcophagus, and you know, since Iron Wall's fire resistant, let's just go for it. You yeah. know. They, they, haven't, Pharaoh. They, they haven't reached the sarcophagus yet, the beetles, but yes, go ahead. None of them? Yeah. There'd be no area damage. I still think we should go for the Pharaoh. Yeah. Yeah. And... Right. Now I've got a nine on that. Okay. More then, fire! What do, you, what, what do you want your negative to be on that? All right, for my negative... I'll say, I mean, why not? Drawing unwelcome attention to myself. Sweet. Um, something. Right. Something in the room. So uh, then There's your, lots to do it. Then roll your damage, <laughs> and then roll an additional uh, d4, because he's all he's all mummy-fied. And, and, and bound up, and being hugged to death. Cool. Being lovingly embraced to death, madam. Nine. <laughs> cool. Nine damage. Cool. Uh, so he takes the nine damage. Um, so uh, tell, me, tell me how you shoot the fireball. I, I'm just like just 
just as much fire as I can muster, just cooking, cooking the shit out of that box, and <laughs> just like like a giant <laughs> gold <laughs> oven. Well, okay. And I'm like, are burn, you, fucking burn. Are you, are you firing the fireball into the sarcophagus or around the sarcophagus? Oh, um, most definitely in it. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. So you fire. We're not trying. We're trying to flambe him. We're not trying yeah. to bake him. Basically. Yeah. Um. <laughs> sure. Uh. So you, yeah. You, you uh. You fire. Um. You fire the fireballs into the sarcophagus, and um, the the whole thing just you know goes up like a you know a five month old Christmas tree that's been you know left out. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, with Gregory in it, Gregory, you feel the heat, but obviously uh, you don't take any damage from fire. Um, but what does happen is uh, the Pharaoh he's 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 on a lot of fire and he's he's angry. <laughs> he's angry. <laughs> okay. Um, so he he rises up out of the sarcophagus, uh, lifting you into the air by your shield. He's got you over his head. Um, <laughs> can I? That is not good. Can I get you to roll defy danger, uh, Gorm? What do you want me to roll it on? Uh, let's roll this on your constitution. How about oh, fear? That's I'm a flat sorry. seven. Seven, cool. So uh, he he throws you, um, and uh, you hit a section. Um, of the uh, one of the pillars actually knocking the pillar off uh, and uh, a little bit of the roof caves in on top of you um, and um, when that happens uh, you take a, uh, look just one damage your armor pretty much protects you from that um, am I still on fire too uh, you're you're glowing hot red you're not on fire but like your Sweet. armor is all like glowing red from from the heat um, if Roll the, around blister some scarabs right if, if, if one of your teammates were to touch you it would burn them for sure um, what, uh, what is Grigori doing? He's in pure terror. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> understandably so. I mean, covered in bugs and everyone's on fire. <laughs> so, I, oh, I guess I, I will mention too, um, now that he's thrown, um, Grom, the, uh, the bugs are uh, sort of, uh, starting to filter in the room towards the Pharaoh. Um, he's still on fire though. So, what is Grigori doing? If I punch the pharaoh, will I also light on fire? It's possible. Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's, it's not, there's no guarantee that you, I mean, the, depending on your role, you might not. You could pick up something and throw it at him. Like, I put don't want to do that either. I don't... <sighs> what do I got here? Can I leave? all garbage. Can I, can I lend him my beady stick? Like, just get <laughs> to my staff and be like, speak shit out of him. G you... Grigori's just gonna say fuck it. He's gonna punch the pharaoh. So okay, <laughs> all right. That's a seven. Okay. It work. Yes. Cool. Uh, so how? Are we, uh, go ahead and roll for damage then while we're at it. All right. That's a two, a two, <laughs> and a two. <laughs> 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 Six damage! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's ridiculous. So um, beautiful. you're gonna hit him, but it's not gonna do that much damage. Um, so tell me how you do that, and then I'll tell you what happens next. Uh, Grigori is not really liking the bugs too much, and he slips on some, and he uh, he goes for the face, but he ends up punching him right in the crotch. Cool. Um, <laughs> so uh, sort of, sort of as as you're punching him um he takes a little bit of damage but he takes both his his fists like his hands like the other make it like a combined fist and he sort of right. uh, he sort of uppercuts you um backwards uh and knocking you right into uh gorm and the uh the searing metal on gorm burns you on the back uh as as you uh land into him as he's sort of like emerging from the rubble um and uh you take Five damage, which uh, ignores your armor on that, um, as you sort of like are getting burned. Uh, do y'all want to play that out real quick? Like, what do you say? What do you do? Grom, Grom, you're you're emerging from the rubble. Gregory just hits you instantly as you kind of emerge. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna catch him. My bad. <laughs> just oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gregory, reactions. Um, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the back. Or, or maybe like you know, spit on you know. me, put me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm getting weird. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways. Dancing around Crumb the house. Also spit on it. Um, yes. Cool. Um, the weird spit party. Everyone's just spitting on Gregory. <laughs> so, um, the, at, at this time, the, uh, a large number of the Beatles have reached uh, the yeah. Pharaoh, and they start engulfing him. And as they do, a lot of them are popping and exploding. But with each explosion, it becomes less and less and less uh, until uh, he's no longer on fire. Um, and uh, as all the Beatles sort of surround him, you know, light sort of returns to the room as they are no longer covering it. Um, but now he's sort of like this this beetle-covered monster. Um, Danica, what are you doing? Wanting to carve out my own eyes, but deciding against it. Um, you know what? You know what it works? Fireworks. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is everyone away from the, the fucking horror that stands before us? Well, currently we... I'm spitting on Gregory, so... <laughs> well, good. I mean, you're fire-resistant anyway, except your armor's not, but... Spit on me! <laughs> <laughs> Is it working? So, so everyone's away from the, the monstrosity, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, as, All right. as, as ways you can be in this room anyways. Time to light this candle then, I guess. Even though he's covered in explosive beetles. <laughs> Eight. Cool. So it happens. Yep. And that? I'll and I'll say the attention because I can't I I can't lose this spell. <laughs> cool. Um roll for yeah, your damage. Okay, that's a that's a nine. Cool. Uh and, and you can um he's covered in explosives. Uh you can roll an additional D six on this. Ooh, yay. Three more. All right, cool. So that's what, 12? Yeah, that's 12. Cool. Um, can I get everyone to roll to fight danger? Ugh. Oh, no! <laughs> but on this time? Uh, you can roll on constitution or dex. Cool. Constitution it is. That's an eight. Six. <laughs> oh, I fail so hard. <laughs> I have cool. fucked myself. Cool. Um, I'm an eight, yo. Well, I mean, I was the one that kind of did this, so. So, <laughs> when you uh, when you cast your fire, but when you cast your fireballs, um, what the uh, the pharaoh does um, is he throws his arms out like this, and the bugs start uh, spiking out from him in these sort of like bug cones uh, in all directions. Um, never good. And so you strike him, and they all everything just starts exploding. I mean, they they all just explode, and they explode outward as it follows up the spikes. Um, and so the explosion is filling the room quite literally. Um, and um, let's see, uh, Gregory, you got a what, Nate? I did. Yeah. So um, you only get a little bit of burn. How do you manage to dodge all this explosion? Are you like dropping to the ground, or are you hiding under some rubble? What are you doing? Oh, oh no, I'm I not dropping to the ground. On you. There's so many fucking bugs everywhere. No, this is it. This um, is all the bugs are exploding. Every bug in the room is exploding right now. Oh, well, I'm climbing up one of these fucking pillars right here. Okay, so yeah, you, you jump over <laughs> one of the pillars and you kind of climb up it. Um, you just take you take four damage, um, but, uh, you know, it could be, it, it could be, and it's going to be probably a lot worse. Um, so you just take four damage uh, as it sort of singes you. Uh, the other two of you, how, are both uh, six and less, right? Yeah. Way less. Yeah, of course you are. And so um, you take seven damage. Um as the flames uh, Jesus. engulf you. Now, Grom doesn't take the damage from the flames, um, but the concussion... He takes it from explosion. Yeah, the, the, the concussion of, uh, of the force of the explosion is what gets uh, Gorm. Um, so, but there we are. But it has killed the Pharaoh. He is dead and no longer. You can see the, uh, the, ashes, the ashes form uh, where he was standing. Um, so... Uh, he, uh, he ceases to exist, and you guys are uh, sort of cleared of the battle as it is right Heal now. Heal me. So. We did it, guys. <laughs> kind of. I'm just mangled on the floor. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to walk over to you and lay hands on you then. Thank you. 2d6 on charisma. So that's six. Cool. <laughs> that almost gets me to full health, so hey, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Oh, I only no, no. really took one big hit. No, that was the roll. For for oh. success, which he did not get. I did. Yeah. Dad. So no. uh So um no. can, I, can I help? <laughs> yes. With his success of laying hands. You can. You absolutely can. Cool. Two D six on that. 
Two D six plus uh, you have one or two bonds with uh, Iron Wall. I thought I had two with him. Yeah, what the I don't fuck? remember. Did you write them down? Because I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've if it's between us, I've said that I've you've used my caravan, and I believe you have a good sense of justice. So okay. I have two with you and okay. two with her. All right, that's fine. Um, All right. So yeah, you can roll two plus on that roll. That's five. <laughs> <laughs> so, I tried. I tried. Here. I know you did. So yeah, you I'm die I, here. You you go to help. Um, <laughs> and um, so he's laying his hands, and you're like, oh, I can I can help, and you put your hands on him too, on her too. Um, and um, your spell does have a modicum of success. So, uh, Danica, you actually you. Uh, you heal for for two. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it draws Better. but it draws four from the either two of you. Each. Motherfuck. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So there's a transference of power, but the exchange was not equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's I would... four from both of us, or just four all together, split four between us. Each. Oh, you're. Wow. Uh, I, I would really like to play the character. And pull out a health potion out of my pack to drink before I try to lay hands on her again. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the roll for a health potion? <laughs> uh, you get 2d6 and mark one of your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So I heal for seven. Sweet. Right, cool. <laughs> and then I lay hands on her again. Sure. Yeah, that's a 10. Sweet. Yay! All right. So that means you get uh, 1d8 damage, uh, or 1d8 health. Yep. Two health. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. What about old, old Grigori over there? He's he's not feeling so good. I mean, he's not dead, but he's not happy. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to take another one out of my adventuring gear, and I'm going to suck down myself a yeah. delicious health potion. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that 2d6 for the health potion? Yeah, it sure is. It's like, hey, I can I hear you. Just let, me, just let me drink a health potion real quick, and I can heal you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's feeling cool. a little better. Not great, though. Cool, cool. All Maybe right. he wants to take a nap on the floor. <laughs> 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 the bugs really wore his ass out. I mean, <laughs> We're tired. Y'all can, can rest in the room for, like, d4 health for, like, an hour. Cool. T four of health for an hour. No, sorry, I'm oh, four, four health. Four, sorry, four health. Uh, four. Oh, for four hey, that brings health. Me to full right. health. Yeah, that's cool. that's gonna happen. That yeah. doesn't get me anywhere close to that. Cool. Bit. I'm just gonna stand watch and make sure no more bugs come in. I am better than uh, than I was, say, so that's cool. Yeah. I the like box that. is cooled so, so, off. Maybe I can take a nap in the sarcophagus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 take it. Well, it's a safe spot, right? It's off the ground. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Roll to find danger. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. no, I wasn't actually serious. <laughs> you're, you're possessed by the spirit of the pharaoh. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, while they're doing that, is there any like gold leaf or anything on this sarcophagus that I can take? Uh, do you you want to loot the room then? That's what you're kind of asking. Yeah. I want, I want to loot as well. Let's all roll to loot. Yeah. I want to. F yes, I want to loot the shit out of everything. Yay. <laughs> cool. You knew Woo! better. Pin. I got a seven. <laughs> Okay, what are we rolling on? For looting the room. Two, I know, but what's the... Uh... Oh, 2d6 plus your intelligence. How about strength? Because I can punch shit. Nah. <laughs> you right. just break a chunk of wall off. Like, I'm I taking this home with me. I got a 7. All right, I, cool. got I got an 11, too. All right. Um, so, yeah, you're you're uh, you're sort of searching the uh, sarcophagus and the surrounding areas. Um, Gorm, uh, you find a, um, a chalice. It's like a golden chalice. Um... And uh, it's got some like ornate jewels on it. Um, uh, Danica, um, you find um, it's it's sort of like a um, a silver a silver rod, uh, kind of like a wand almost. Um, and uh, it's got like a um, opal gem at the top. Ooh. Yep. Uh, Grigori, who rolled a seven. Um, Grigori finds uh, a nice, uh, like, uh, pair of, like, um, 
leather gauntlets with some chainmail on them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you you can throw uh, you can throw plus one armor on those. How about that? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. I'll take that. Yeah. Um, and uh, Danica, with that with that rod, um, you can um, add uh, plus one to your spell casting. Mm. Yep. And uh, Gorm, your holy chalice, does it do anything? Um, how about we roll to find out if it does anything? Okay. Just to make it fun. Let's say... I mean, it's worth money, so it does that. Yeah. Let's say if it's a uh, failed roll, it does nothing, but if it's like something other than that, you can come up with something. Oh, no. If you're choosing to roll on it and it's failed, there'll be a consequence. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Go rolling on anything? Up. You can. What would be the equivalent of luck? I guess. Um, Charisma. Yeah, sure. So eight. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, um, the uh, the golden chalice. Um, when uh, whenever you're you're performing your um, your sworn oath or whatever, uh, you can take an, a plus one to whatever that action is. So it imbues you with some some like holy power. Yeah. Sweet. So if ever I protect you, Gregory, I get a bonus. Yep. Yay. Or I can just sell it for like forty bucks. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, it's it's pro it's probably the weight of like you know a good you know. Seven. Well, if I ever potentially take this character somewhere yeah. else, you know, it's it's I probably it's that. probably worth five or six gold pieces at least in weight. So. Sweet. Of gold. So, um, all right, cool. So you guys, um, you've sort of taken an hour, um, and uh, you, you maybe feel an urgency to move on uh, at this point. Yeah, yeah let's, let's get out, get of, out here. of here. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this feral room. It's awful. Yeah. Damn bug death trip. All the other rooms are going to be so much better, of course. Mm -hmm, yeah. Hey, so before we leave, Gregory leans over and, and does this like hand over hand thing with some of the wrappings that he's finding. <laughs> And he looks at everybody and says, for later, when I need to wipe my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, sure. <laughs> add, add bandages to your, your gear. Yeah, it's done. Cool. All right. So uh, you sort of move on to the next area, and uh, it's sort of another, like, cavern area. It's looking maybe a little menacing, some might say. Uh, it's a little jagged and rapey. I'm yeah. not sure about um, it. Yeah, so so you you sort of moved away from any any real um, man-made structure. This is definitely more uh, something that existed long before maybe the the dungeon was built on top of it. Um, Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> yeah. So um, as you sort of get in this room, is there anything uh, you notice or feel or actions you're looking at? Is there anything you want to inspect? Hey guys, I don't even think we have to roll. This is pretty evil looking. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm sensing some evil. I smell dragons. No! Or goblins. <laughs> Goblin dragons. This is gonna change the way. Oh, God. We're gonna have fucking tremors or something anyway. We're in a tunnel yeah. in the desert. It's gonna be yeah. evil. Yeah, see, uh, you see my background, you know. Uh, right, exactly. Like I said, tremors. I fully expected it last time it didn't happen, so I'm still excited. Sandworm flash demigorgon. Those are from, the, from Dune. So, you know. I, I want to, yeah, spice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I snorted some of that. Let's go fly to space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this like a weird, like, cave system kind of thing, or is it just like one, like, large cave? Uh, it's, 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 it's like a cave system a little bit, yeah. Okay. In we that wouldn't case, know any lore on any of this, would we? You already rolled for that. Of... You already rolled for that in the last time, and you, you didn't know anything. In that case. Yeah, but we're in a I'm... cave now. We're, yeah, we're further in. Maybe we know something now. <laughs> You can, yes, you these can, walls are made of wall. You can, you can. Yeah. <laughs> so, fiction, fictionally, your characters wouldn't know about this cave. You can roll to know about caves in general oh, if you like. Shit. like oh, I know. No, that's dumb. Like, I, There's a, a wild wombat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to cast guidance. Sure. Okay. That's two d six on whatever. Wisdom. Sweet. That is. Seven, so it works. 
All right. And uh, what, how, how does that read on guidance? Um, guidance, the symbol of your deity appears before you and gestures towards the direction or course of action your deity would have you take, then disappears. Cool. It's only through gesture, and, you know, you can't, like, just be like, yo, bro, where am I going? Cool. All right, so, um, and then uh, on on the uh, roll, what do you want to take as your, your negative aspect? Uh, it's revoked by my deity. All right, cool. And what is the symbol of your DD? Uh, it is a golden hammer. Cool. Um, so, uh, amongst the many passages that are sort of in this room, um, two interesting things happen. Um, the first thing is that uh, the symbol of the hammer forms on Grigori's chest. And then a beam of light shines down one of the corridors from that. Uh, you okay, Grigori? Did I just turn into E.T.? I think... I think, <laughs> I think my I god like, wants you, you know, to go that way. Light the yeah, beacon! Uh, Iron Man, we need you to head in that direction. Also, while we're doing all this, just we, you know, kind of basically like, um... Fucking Geiger counter, I should probably just detect magic to make sure that, like, there's still, it's still <laughs> magic. <laughs> Why Ooh. not? Let's do it. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to very much clarify to Gregory that my god says we need to go in that direction. In case okay. you couldn't tell by the giant beam of light. Yeah. Okay, more cool. more information, yeah. maybe magically wise. I Gregory just wants to use his chest flashlight well. to look at the entire cave very well so we can see if there's anything hiding. So no matter what direction you turn, the light only points down the corridor. Oh, That's not how reflections work. <laughs> <laughs> this is magic. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> it's my flashlight coming off of my chest. Okay, it's, it's not a reflection. It's a. Is it going to go not, away? It's not your flash. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's going to. Yeah, it, it. Okay, I was just making sure I'm not like this I, fucking I, I, beacon running around in a dark cave where everything can see me now. No. Nah. So uh, <laughs> how's that detect magic going? Well, that's well, so cool. All right. You definitely detect divine magic. Yeah, uh, you detect um, once again. Sort of, you detect sort of magic uh, throughout the building and. Um, it, it is strong, very strong in the direction that the beam is pointing. You also detect some magic in the ceiling. No! I don't want it. Yeah. Bad that magic. That makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> We're just standing there and I'm just like, yeah, you know, my god's really saying to go this and from behind we're here. No, I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, uh. Because I haven't told anybody yet, and I'm like, no! You haven't told anybody yet, that's true. And I'm just like, hey guys, I'm detecting ceiling magic. And Let's that's usually cave. not, that's usually ceiling not good. Magic. So yeah. <laughs> guys, go to the cave. Yeah. Guys. So, specifically. Yeah, I think you need to run forward. You, you got like a 10 plus, pretty right? Pretty fast. Right? You got 10 plus uh, on that? Yeah, yeah, it was a 12. Yeah, okay. So, um. Where the concentration of the, of the magic in the ceiling is strongest is um, sort of um, right above the corridor you're about to head down. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Well, that makes oh, me what? feel really good about. Why wouldn't corridor. it? Yeah. Okay. Why wouldn't it? Well, the right way is usually the the hard way. Can I can I uh can I roll for invisibleness? Sure. <laughs> 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 Not a nine. I got a nine on it. Sure you did. So, uh, what do you want to choose as your negative? Uh, obviously, since I don't want to draw attention to myself, I'm going to say that my, um, I got wand impotence, so I can't do that one again. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, you, uh, you lose the spell. Um, and you go invisible. Um... So you guys going to make your way down the corridor, or is there anything else you want to do before uh, that happens? I would like to not die. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hold my shield above me. Yeah. <laughs> Good uh, idea. Everyone huddle together. Huddle yeah. together. It's like an umbrella. Uh, shield umbrella. You're, oh, and Grigori's beam is faded by now. It's, it's sort of faded out. Well, that's that's nice. Yeah. Even though I'm so, uh, even though I'm invisible shield umbrella, <laughs> you're just like singing the jingle. Uh, Grigori wants to crush a rock to intimidate anything that's watching him. 
Roll for strength. Just a small one, though. Just just a little, a little pebble. <laughs> roll, 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 sandstone. Roll on strength to crush a rock. Just from, like, <laughs> from like behind a okay. pillar, you hear, ah, oh, fuck. Because you're, you're, <laughs> you're attacking a rock. That's what you're doing. That rock is fucking dead. That's a mine. <laughs> cool, cool. You, uh, you crush the rock um, into, uh, into um, six or seven different pieces. It's not dust, but you definitely crush it. So um, you're making your way down, down the... Uh, the path, I presume, then, at this point? Well, right. since, he, yeah. since he crushed it, he said he wanted to intimidate. Does that mean he has to roll for charisma, too, to see that it, now that he's crushed it, if it actually did something? Uh, we, the we, rock is now intimidated. No, we, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, if, if if anything um, could attack you Observe in this room, that. Uh, if, if it were to, to attack you, um, you could, uh, um, like in a defy danger sort of scenario, you could take a plus one on your defy danger. Uh, with your intimidation. Um, so, uh, you, uh, you, you go? Everyone goes? Yeah, yeah I mean, I guess. what else are we gonna do? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna walk under it first, alone. Alone? Okay, cool. Yeah, well, I thought that hold we were my all... shield upwards. Cool. Just be like, okay, shuffle through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, as you walk under sort of the, the opening that's, that you'd be heading towards, um, there's sort of a loud like cracking sound um like like the sound of breaking rock above you um and uh let me get you alone uh <laughs> to roll defy danger because you're the only one as, the, as the tank should uh what should i roll it on constitution sweet that's a four yeah <laughs> So above you, the uh, the ceiling um, starts moving as though it's coming to life, and um, uh, suddenly above you is um, a. Uh, I click on things. I click on things. No, come on. Sorry. It's a fraggle. No. Um, <laughs> it's a fraggle. It's That'd not. Be great. Where's, uh, why doesn't? Why are my pictures not here? Twitch, but I don't see it on here. Yeah, Just don't look at Twitch. Don't look at Twitch. Um, <laughs> it's it's a it's a stone dragon. Um, Delightful. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. I would like to pull a saddle out of my adventuring gear. <laughs> yep. So stone dragon. Uh, Can roll on charisma. <laughs> comes comes down. Uh, and it sort of uh, lands on top of your shield um, and uh, forces you forces you to the ground uh, as it lands on top of you. Uh, and you take four damage minus armor uh, as you're forced to the ground. Um, cool. Yep. Uh, I'm going to shout out, guys, it's okay. It's just a dragon. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I've dealt with things like this. Kind of. So, did uh, I say there was a dragon? I feel like I smelled a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> you did smell a dragon. Yeah. So, uh, Grigori, what are you doing? Shitting himself. Um, <laughs> you're a brave <laughs> orc. Yeah, it's a big ass damn dragon. I don't care how brave you are. Dragons are scary. I want to put a leash on it. Uh, uh, Grigori <laughs> wants to. Is, is is this bastard on the ground? Yeah, he's he's sitting on top of. Right he's now. on the me. Oh, yeah. okay. He's still on top of you. Yeah. Cool. Well, the picture makes it look like he's flying, so I wasn't yeah, sure. I, I don't have the picture in multiple positions. So. Do what um, you do. Don't worry about it. That's a failure team. on your part, I feel. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Grigori wants to, uh, to not die from dragons, so he's, he's going to try to just uh, maybe punch the outside of it away from its mouth. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> so where, just where? like... Were you punching punch it, it in the butthole? What? Where, where are you punching it? <laughs> on the outside, away from its mouth. Like that's about as far away from its mouth as all you right, can get. All right. So when punch. it fell on top of Iron Wall here, was it facing us as a group or was it yeah, facing yeah, the other it's direction? Facing, facing the group. Oh, of course it is. All yeah. right. Well, then I guess Grigori doesn't give a shit. He's just gonna punch it in the damn fight in the face. Okay. <laughs> you know, I keep forgetting you have knuckles. Yep. That's 12, man. All I right. was like, this dude's just yeah. running around punching people. <laughs> roll, roll for damage. 
Yeah, that's a 12, and that is awesome. All right. And you know what? Thank you for reminding me that I had Knuckles with a plus one. I completely spaced on that. So there's my one damage for Knuckles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and my D4 of extra. So that's 13 into his Jeez. face. That's what happens when nice. you boop it on the suit. Yeah, so uh, punch his face and maybe crack it a little bit. Tell me how it goes. Aww. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess it's uh, smelling old iron wall here as it's standing on top of him. And I just come up and uppercut that bastard right between the nose. Between his nostrils, man. Just right in his face. Trying to break his teeth. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to deck you in the schnoz. Yeah, you do. <laughs> like uh, parts of his face crack. Uh, and he sort of uh, jumps back and takes flight uh, after you hit him uh, into the air, freeing Gorm uh, from its hold. Yeah. Um, Danica, you're you're invisible. You, what are you up to? Are you still just gonna stay invisible, or it's in it's in the air? Fire, throw fire at its balls. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do fireball and let go of the invisibility. <laughs> sure. Fireball its balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I want to aim for a wing too. All right. Ooh, that's actually a better idea. I like that. <laughs> Keep that bastard from jumping. And so that's an eleven for, with my plus one. Okay, and then. Roll for the damages, so, though. Damage is a 10. Cool. All right. Um, and uh, I'll give you a plus one damage because you're shooting at a wing, uh, which will cause it some problems. Uh, so, tell, yeah, you, you shoot at the wing, and you're going to break off some of its, uh, like, wings. So tell me how that goes. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I send the fire at the, the right wing. You know, I kind of wince as I do it because, you know, I hate hurting animals. But I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're trying to eat us. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it just kind of catches blaze and, you know, just starts to kind of eat up the, you know, the veining or the tendrils in the right yeah. side. Um, well, it, won't, it won't burn up. He's made of stone, so it's just going to basically obliterate a part of the wing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it, like, it obliterates part of the wing and he sort of uh, um, comes uh, sort of poorly gliding down to the ground uh, as he struggles to stay afloat and hits the ground. Um, what uh, what is Ironwall doing at this juncture? Ironwall is gonna jump up and be like, "I got this, guys!" and is gonna try and hack off its tail. Okay. Are we in Monster Hunter right now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kind of thought the same thing. <laughs> One of us gonna jump on its back and ride it till it gets tired. That's what I was thinking. Cool. Uh, and then roll for damages. That's seven. Cool. Um. So, uh, describe to me how you, you can chop his tail off. Describe to me how that happens. Sweet. Uh, while it's gliding down because it just got hit by a fireball, uh, I'm gonna sprint underneath of it. And while it's coming down, her, uh, not hurl, but like haul my sword upwards in like an arcing motion to cut its tail off while it's coming down. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, when it comes down, you, you hack the tail off. Um, and, um, it, uh, it opens his mouth like to sort of like scream, but no noise comes out. You just hear sort of like this, uh, it's almost like the sound of like rock grinding together, like this, this you know, noise that's coming out of its mouth. Um, and when that happens, um, it wraps its wings around you. Um, you mean wing? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's got part of a wing. The other wing is like a partial, yeah. right? Because part, part of it's blown away. Um, but um, it wraps its wings, one partially broken, around you. Um, <laughs> and everything hardens, uh, and he turns into sort of just this solid mass of stone that has now sort of surrounded you, and you're completely encased in it. Did he just I'm going to shell through the hole. <laughs> Guys, he's hard. Yeah. Meta Metapod used harden. It was super effective. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was super not comfortable. Yeah. Grigori, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to punch the stone dragon now yeah punch the rock yeah we're gonna punch the wings let's see what happens punch your way out you know it's a six <laughs> yeah even with the strength it's not yeah. happening so um what ends up happening is um you uh, you do punch through the wing um but you you punch iron wall right it just goes <laughs> it just goes right to the wing and into iron wall um, oh, he's the one encased. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you could roll to damage Iron Wall, that'd be good. Aww. I'll just. No, I don't want to do that. You gotta roll your damage. 
I'm sorry, buddy. Iron Wall is okay. Iron Wall has had Holy more crap. play before. Iron Wall's not okay. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that's not horrible. Okay. That's 12, that's not good. Right. Uh, so Iron Wall's gonna take 12 damage, but you're also gonna take a little bit of damage, because he is Iron Wall, right? He's, he's pretty dang solid. Um... So, uh, you're gonna take just four damage minus any armor that you got, uh, in the, in the arm and wrist. It's gonna shudder up your body from hitting something so solid. Um, but, uh, when you, when you... For, for example, uh, just so you know, I have an armor of five, so I took only a little over half of that damage. Oh, okay. yeah. oh that's nice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but, uh, as you hit, as you hit Iron Wall, um... The uh, reverberation um, resonates around his body and causes the rest of the dragon to crumble around him uh, and fall to the ground. Um, so, Good job, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh god, my face hurts. Yeah. So, uh, but now the, the what was left of the dragon is now in a heap just around Iron Wall. So, I want to pick up that tail and shove it in my bag. It's it's pretty heavy and and big. Okay, I want to like chop some more of it up so I can have dragon tails. Cool. I mean, you can strap it to your back with some rope or something, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pull some rope out of my adventuring gear and strap it to my back. Is there yeah. anything cool and less heavy to loot? Like, does it have, like, an eyeball or something that's not made of stone? Um, most of it's just, like, rubble on the ground at this point. I mean, there might be some remnants of, like, a, you know, a, like, like a stone claw or, um, I mean, you can, you, you can roll to certain reality to see if you find the eye, sure. Like, I want something that's easy to carry, but a trophy. Sure. I want to take a stone tooth. That's a ten. Uh, yeah, you find an eye. And uh, let's roll for a tooth, too. Oh, come on, man. I punched that thing out of its mouth. It should just pick it up. I give you I give you plus one on your roll. Dragon I got an eight. Eye. Okay. And that's one on intelligence. Do you have anything extra on your intelligence? Uh, nope. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you find a tooth. It's got a crack running through it, but you find one. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'll put that in my... Uh, uh, good enough. Head. Yeah. Tooth is a tooth. That's all right. I want. It's cool. So, uh, now with the, uh, the dragon sort of, uh, dispatched, um, I click a thing and it goes away. Yep. Nope. Go away, dragon. Go away. There we go. All right, cool. Um... So do you uh, then you carry on in the direction you were headed then? Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. Where are my yes. god commands? Yep. So you uh, pass through to the next section and uh, you uh, you might be slightly displeased with what you find. Um, oh god. Hmm. Oh god. Guys, I think that was a baby. So. Um, Shit. What lays before you is uh, the there's only really one path to take and you have to cross this sort of remains of a large dragon to you get have to go to through it. the carcass yeah yeah right um i like that this even has us standing in front of it like the fuck is this yeah yeah they do they're, they're looking at it like no <laughs> yeah so uh anything you do before, i mean just what about that coffee shop guys i bet we can get gold <laughs> it's fine <laughs> Uh, um, I'm gonna test the waters, I guess. Unless anyone else wants to do danger? it. Danger? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to? I mean, in? I'm gonna roll to look at the damn, uh, look at the uh, magic again. Now that we're in here. Yeah, yeah. Because don't I always? I'm literally the magic rad detector. You know? Yeah. Okay. Bing, 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 bing. There's magic. 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, 13 on detect magic. So we need to find out what what's going on with this deal. You detect magic. <laughs> no. no. Um, oh, the 13! I detect a little more than that. You detect, you detect a lot of magic. You detect a lot of magic. Um, <laughs> so, you um, detect that you are fucked. So, um, <laughs> you, actually, you, you actually don't detect any massive amounts of magic coming from the bones. Um, okay. The, what's, what's beyond the bones in, in sort of the next area is like big, big magic. You definitely detect like you know, a lot of something like from magic out of there. energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really want this in my room, but I know that we can't take it with us. So. You're not Mary Poppins. <laughs> Quick, shove the skull in the bag. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
Jill! Okay, he's back. Yeah. Pull a little crane from my adventuring gear. No. All right, cool. Uh, once again, I guess I'm going to test the waters by going first with the shield above my head in case that jaw comes down. Cool. All right. I'll go second. All right. Uh, so you are all starting your way across the bone dragon. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, as you're walking across... Uh, we all die. You all die, right? <laughs> Campaign over. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Two of the yeah. main characters did. The, the, bone, the bones are pretty rickety. Um, you sort of maybe fear that you'll fall through. Uh, but you'll make it across and nothing nothing bad really happens to you. So, yay, right? Wow. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah the, that was I don't. Surprising. I don't like that he's saying yay. Yeah, yeah the, the, like for... The, the DM was nice to you. Look at you. Um, Use it quiet yeah, down. There's a treasure chest full of potions. We yeah. know the drill. So you make it uh, on the other side of the dragon, and uh, you sort of face the uh, this sort of opening that leads into the next the next area where you sort of detect the large magic. Is there anything you do at this time before crossing over? Yes, I'm no going to pull one more health potion out of my bag. Yep. Nah. Full health right cool. now. Um, is there any way that we can take um, an hour or so or something so that I can do ritual and get my spells back? And anybody else? Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you can you can hang out for about an hour or so, um, and uh, so that like Iron cool. Wall can commune and I can, can like. Uh, ritual. If that happens, I want to take a nap and gain my life back. You can you can reclaim you can claim four health and one spell. Sweet. Okay, I only lost one, so cool. Yeah. I'll take it. Well, we're here. Let's do yeah. Okay. Gregory's just in the corner doing a shitload of push ups. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Cool. So the hour goes by, uh, and uh, you're feeling some, somewhat refreshed as you sort of get ready to pass into the next area. Um, and uh, you ready to go then? We're going? Yeah, I guess we're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we want to get paid. So uh, you. You pass into the next area. Um, I want to punch the egg. The 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 it room looks really cool, but I don't want to touch it. The, the the magic in the room is so dense that even uh, even I Grigori can, can feel it. Right. Um, yeah. This orb in the center of the room. Uh, I feel is it in my jellies. Sort of <laughs> sen <laughs> sending out these sort of like it looks like lightning, but it also looks like water. It's sort of just like uh, emanating Ooh. off of it. Um, the room uh, feels so very pretty. sort of heavy. And you're sort of standing before this thing. Um, Ironwall, um, you, f you sort of feel that, like, whatever it is that you're meant to do or recover is, like, in that orb, right? Like, like I need to touch it. Like, have you, ever, have, you, have you ever seen a sphere? You need to clean it. Oh, don't talk about that. No. <laughs> that like, just makes me feel even worse about what's happening right you, now. You 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 feel about that thing like those dudes felt like the sphere and sphere. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing's gonna happen to you too. Don't don't do it. I tactically have plot armor. So somehow. Yeah. I might become a cripple. But I need so, to touch it. Do you do you do you approach it then? Is that what you're doing? Yes, cool. I am very sure. Yeah, Grigori strongly clean... objects to this, but it's you have not the cleany cleany it. thing. We don't, you know. Yeah, you Grigori can... definitely wants to see what happens. So you we can sanctify it. I can't. Yeah, that is true. You got you. You have the religion magic. I have the magic magic. So <laughs> yeah, go go bless it. Yeah. So um, bless its heart. As you uh, as you approach the sphere, you're not to it yet. Um, <laughs> there we go. This sort of I want to stand back. This sort of ethereal um, being uh, starts to emerge from it. Kratos, um, is that you? It's, it's <laughs> not Kratos. Um, but um, what it is is it's uh, um, so it's sort of this large being uh, with like one eye, um, 
And um, you guys won't know this, but as, if we step back from from uh, to a player perspective, uh, from what we know from the campaign, it's basically an astral projection of Baylor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, can I offer it the dragon eye? Uh, I mean, you probably I mean, could. I don't. I don't, I don't think it help. Would. No. Um, but, um, he, like, he only has one. I'll give him the other one. Right. Well, no, it's, it's, it's like a cyclops. It's like one eye, right? Um, mm, I think another so, eye might help this, him, but whatever. But this this being, this being <laughs> emerges uh, forth. Um, and uh, Gregory uh, stops and goes, do you guys see this shit or is it just me? Uh, I'm just going to lean over and be like, that's magic, bro. <laughs> um, I'm cheesed off my face on magic. Um <laughs> So the, the figure emerges and it uh, it sort of calls out and says, uh, uh, "Swear fealty to the Fomorians and live." Uh, Baylor says, "Go fuck yourself." You mean Gregory? Yeah, yeah, that that's right, Gregory, yeah. not Baylor. <laughs> my bad. He's just like swear fealty, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the the ash projection says. Uh, if that is your answer, then die. And um, with that, uh, he uh, he shoots out sort of like uh, like this blue energy blast. Uh, oh his, no! This was like Ghostbusters when they ask you if you're a god, you always answer yes. From his hands, Sorry, guys. Uh, if I get everyone to run to roll defy danger. <laughs> uh, oh, Gregory, what did you do? Yeah, on, I said sorry. On, I know, I know, it's fine. On decks or uh, on. Constitution. Yeah, either way, that's a seven for me. So I'm. I'm either uh, way, that's above a ten for me. Yeah. yeah that sweet three. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <All right. laughs> you got the three, huh? So cool. Yeah. Um. So okay. Uh, Gregory, you said you got a. I got a seven, yo. Seven. Cool. Um. So uh, you get sort of nicked by some of the stuff coming off. Um. And uh, same thing for what was your Danica? You got. Both of them were above ten, so I'll, I'll you know what I'll get fancy and say it was with dexterity. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, so you yeah, t- tell me how you dodge some of the some of the flame or whatever. I uh, I roll and I kind of grapple onto like one of the um, the weird kind of curly stalagmite. Yeah, yeah. cool. Other things. And then uh, Gorm, poor Gorm, um. You get almost electrified by the energy as it surges through your body, um, and uh, you take some damage. Uh, I look one damage, no armor on that though. Wow! Uh, but just one damage as it sort of surges through your whole body. Uh, apparently, tingly. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, jokes on you. I'm into that. <laughs> so, uh, and sort of as, as this happened, um, the um, um, the being. Because like I said, you don't know who he is. The being sort of uh, rises up in the air a little bit and is sort of suspended uh, in the air. Um, what? Uh, let's see. Gregory is the one who uh, off offset him. What is uh, Danica doing? Since she didn't take any damage, really. Excuse me, sir. Because I didn't piss him off. <laughs> do you know where? Do you know where this necklace is? Then we can find it. Um. Can I roll on charisma for that? You can roll on charisma to see if he even hears you. Oh, oh no. I hear you. Oh no, I I'm starting to regret my decision. <laughs> Sometimes you do. Nine, it's a nine. Cool. Um, he does he does uh know that you're speaking to him. He probably didn't understand what you were saying. Uh, and um, from the tone, he can tell you were you were asking from him something um uh and so he uh he sort of booms out um you dare request anything from me <laughs> it is a sin in my you ears you should have rolled a fail this is bad it, it is a sin in my ears i've even heard your pale voice um well. but he's busy engaged in conversation with you um which might give you know, a roll plus one or something to somebody yeah, else. Yeah, might give Ironwall like a plus one because he's slightly distracted, right? So Ironwall, what are you doing? He's going to touch the orb. Yep, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Gorm doesn't have. Don't, don't doesn't clean have time the orb, man. 
Cool. Clean the orb, scrubby, scrubby. Roll, uh, <laughs> roll defy danger. Uh, you can take a uh, on your decks, but you can take a plus one uh, since he's cool. Distracted. So just flatten. Yeah. Man, it's not a Spencer's plasma ball. Be careful eight. with that shit. Yeah. I'm fine with an eight. Yeah. Okay. So you do make it. You do make it past um, Baylor as you uh, yeah. go to touch the um, the orb. Um, but it's going to take you like a minute. You're sneaking by, so it's going to take you a sort of minute to get there. Um, in the he's not sneaking by. He's just so cocksure that he doesn't care. Right. Okay. Well, as as you're just walking by, right, it's going to take you a minute to get there. Um, <laughs> in while that's happening, what is Grigori up to? Um, he's blowing out the flame on the tip of his middle finger that he was holding <laughs> out when it when it blew by. Yeah. And uh, he just kind of looks at him and. Second looks at finger. everybody. <laughs> looks at uh, Danica and is just like, uh, "What do you want me to do? All I know how to is punch." <laughs> Get to punching. I damn pissed it off. Can you punch it? It's a. It's a you just. You won't know. It. You won't know if you can punch it until you punch it. I don't want to punch it. Don't worry, he's distracted. <laughs> I dropped my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, he's distracted, oh. and he doesn't understand me! Where you go? Uh. <laughs> the most cocksure uh. bunch of people. Like, I could punch a ghost while he's strolling by. Punch like you've never punched before! Fuck it. Grigori's gonna punch it. Sure. Punch everything. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nope, that's fucked. I'm dead. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, it's a really a five. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah. You just tried since to punch a gun. Hey, hey. Since he's distracted, is there any plus one? Can I help him? Is there a bond? Come on, it's man. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, you you can roll to assist. Sure. Okay. Sure. Roll to assist to make it a six. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's what happens. So, Gregory, I'm going, so happy I did this. You're, you're going to punch. <laughs> you're going to punch. Um, and um, when you when you when you go to make your punch, because are you like kidney punching? Is that where you're going for? Or? Yeah, man. I mean, you know, that's where the sweet spot is, yeah. right? So you're going in for the kidney punch, right? Um, and so you're behind him, like you're you're going for the punch. Um, as you swing, um, his hand swing back and catches your fist. You make contact, so he is he is punchable, right? Um, now we know. But as he grabs your fist, um, he immediately jerks you forward, tossing you straight into Danica. No. Um, <laughs> right. Um, Danica, watch out! Yeah. Um, <laughs> and. Uh, watch out. Hey. <laughs> You both just take one damage. You duck armor from that. So hey, she heard me. We just flipped off each other. That's great. Woo! Yeah. That was yeah. close. Uh, but you, you both kind of come nice. crashing to the ground. Um, and I, I hit the ground and I say, ghost my ass. Yeah. But we got valuable information. Yeah. So, uh, meanwhile, Gorm, um, you've touched the orb. Punch the shit out of it! <laughs> you, you've, t you've touched the orb. Um, can you roll Defy Danger for me? Oh shit! Uh, let's clarify. I'm casting sanctify on the orb. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so you're not touching it with your hand. Uh, I'm casting the spell once I touch it. Like it's touch spell happens. That's okay. how sanctify works. Okay. So well, let's roll for that. Let's roll for that uh, that ability. <laughs> uh, eleven. Cool. Um. So uh, you cast Sanctify on the orb. Now, uh, what, how does that read on that? Uh, it's uh, consecrated by my deity, and it becomes either holy or unholy, I guess, depending on what kind of god I serve. And it's cool. also purified of any mundane spoilage, so... Cool. <laughs> so we can drink it. Yay! Or eat it, yeah. <laughs> so, um, and what's your deity's name? Uh, it is Forseti. Forseti, all right. Because I know you had like two gods you were sort of serving. Um, uh, it's four steady and then a minor Valkyrie called Ear. Okay, so um, so the moment you touch the orb with your uh, sanctification, um, you were transported inside the orb, and um, 
inside the orb, Uh-oh. it's just sort of white light everywhere. It's just you and just uh, as far as you can see, sort of a, a, a brilliance. Um, and out of that brilliance steps Forsetti. Um, and so uh, Forsetti I says... I immediately take a knee. Yeah. Forsetti says, Arise, my faithful servant. Um, and um, when you rise, Forsetti sort of uh, tells you, um, congratulates you on following um, the path that... Uh, is For- Forsetti got a gender? Uh, it's a male. Okay. So for, for uh, pursuing the path that he's laid out before you so diligently, um, and that um, everything you've done has led up to this moment, um, he says uh, that you need to um, put Grigori in the orb. Like, uh, that Grigori is the key to ending an upcoming war that's going to happen in about 200 years. Um, he says that Grigori will um, bring about the forces that will stop uh, the end of the world. Um, but he says, but in order to do so, you've got to put him in the orb. And gotcha. so um, uh, after after this conversation takes place, um, you, uh, you open your eyes and you're standing in front of the orb with your hand on it. Um, and... Um, Danica and Grigori are sort of entangled in in a battle with uh, with this this character. Um, Danica, what are you doing? You managed to stand back up. If you can punch it, you can set it on fire. Grigori, step out of the way. Cool, done. <laughs> <laughs> also, to clarify on a uh, character's level, did did Grom actually disappear, or was that all in his head? So you guys all just saw him standing there with the orb. If you even saw it okay, all, okay. You, you're you're entrenched in like. I was about to say if he was but actually that, that's in what the I'm orb, asking. Like, like, did he actually go it, in but... it and he physically disappeared, or was that all in his head? It, it was a well. He, he I, his spirit may have gone inside it. Okay, because yeah. I was gonna say if Grigori saw any part of him disappearing, you kiss that ass goodbye. He ain't getting in that orb. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Try to set some stuff on fire, guys. But now you don't know any of the stuff that the Gormans just. I, I agree, but I yeah. if he disappeared in that orb, I guarantee you, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got a ten on that. All right for the With fireball. Plus one cast spell. Yep. All right, cool. And the damage is a ten. Caught on fire. Cool. All right. Um, set him on fire. Yeah. So you you cast your fireballs. Um, they uh, they pass through his external and go inside him. Uh, and sort of uh, his whole body lights up, sort of orange. Um, and um, he, he just uh, made a fire god. He um, he screams and yells. <laughs> um, and then um, as uh, af- after a moment of screaming and yelling, um, uh, his external blue essence becomes the the, the color of fire. Um. And he says, uh, says, oh, it burns good. Little, <laughs> di- little did you know that I am, I am a god of fire. Damn it. <laughs> he figured uh, out his kink. That's unfortunate. Yeah. He's figured out my kink. Or can we deduce <laughs> that water is not his friend now? Hey! Yeah. Oh, so, we should have collected water from the thing. Mm, but there's totally can. water right... No, mm. that's not water, is it? No. no. Well, that might be up front. Yeah. That little pool. We'll yeah. just dunk him in it. Yeah. So, Grigori, what are you? Uh, what are you doing as you stood up? All right. Wrestling Grigori is going to take the water skin that's been on his back this whole time and pour oh. some on his fist because he he thinks that it's going to help. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he's going to go punch that son of a bitch again. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Uh, you can have. Um, water plus, fist. Plus <laughs> hit punch and use water punch. You can have. You can have an additional D6 to your damage for that. Awesome. Um, all right, so we'll do that. Six, seven, eight, nine. That is a nine. I am hitting his ass. All right. All right, and because this is the second time, mm-hmm. so that's a three and a four and one and two. Wow. Sweet. The lowest of the rules. Um, <laughs> so it's a seven, eight, nine. Yep. Cool. Uh, so tell me, tell me how where are you hitting where are you hitting him? I am going right for those kidneys again. I'm just gonna run right up to him or rabbit punch him a couple times in his kidneys. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so yeah, you you uh, you managed to hit him a um, couple of punches, um, and uh, he definitely takes the damage. Um, and uh, it, every every hit sort of sizzles uh, as you hit it. Um, and, That's nice. Uh, yeah, 
and um, sort of uh, the place where you've like repeatedly hitting him, um, it's almost like he's bleeding like fire out of that that area, um, uh, and he sort of um, whisks himself back a few feet from where you're hitting him, um, and uh, let's see, and um, he casts a fireball um, above you. And it hits uh, uh-huh. some of the rock, and it falls down and hits you. Uh, uh, and you take three damage uh, as the rock falls on top of you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Gorm, what are you doing? Before uh, that, I'm going to say, hey, guys, when I was punching him, it was like when you touch a hot frying pan. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Gorm is going to walk walk up to the fight. Uh He's going to look at Danica and be like, get Gregory to the orb. It's his destiny. And then he's going to start swinging his sword at uh, this entity. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, Danica, I'm hearing, upon hearing this, uh, before you start swinging your sword, um, do you say anything? Do you have any objections? Do you have questions? I mean, you're in the middle of a fight, but, like, that's a lot to, like, take in. Ironwall's been kind of protecting us this whole dealio, and I feel like Gregory also trusts him. So I pass along this information and I guess I need to roll on Charisma to see if that is successful. No, you, you can pass it on. Uh, Grigori, you hear this information. Um, what does is, what is Grigori, the character, think about this, though? Um, <laughs> I Grigori trust him not that much. Yeah, Grigori's not... Um, he, he trusts, you know, Grom um, as much as he can. He trusts Danica much, a lot more. Um. He thinks that uh, you guys are crazy, but, uh, you know, he, he's going to just try to punch the orb. He thinks that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. he, he interprets it as the orb's the issue, you know, yeah. get it. Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, so, um, I, I was unclear on the instructions. I was right. just passing along. And like I said, Ironwall <laughs> hasn't led us wrong thus far, so. Okay, so um, this, hey. this, this all happened, so... Um, Iron Roll, you're yelling this as you're striking. Danica, um, as soon as he realizes that you're going to start yelling at Grigori, but let's go ahead and do the strike. So go ahead and roll for your attack then, Iron Roll. Yeah, that's a nine. Okay. And then a D10. So I do eight damage to him. Cool. Um, time to do the mathematics. Uh, yep. Cool. Where do you hit him? Uh, he's somewhat floating upwards, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring my sword up over top of my head and down across his chest. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, um, you, uh, you slice him across. While the shouting, fight me! With your, uh, <laughs> your sort of, uh, holy, holy sword. Um, and, uh, as you do, it creates this sort of gash, uh, and flame bursts forth, and, um, a little bit spills out, um, onto the ground. Um, and, um, looking down at you, uh, floating in the air, uh, he takes his foot and kicks you in the face, uh, and um, when he does that, you take eh, five damage, um, and uh, you, uh, you take a few steps back. Um, so um, as that's happening, Danica has yelled to Gregory. Danica, after you yell that, what do you do? After I yell that, I guess I gotta take a punch um, to uh, to the weird god guy, whatever, whatever Mister Floaty Floaty is. Yeah. And <laughs> but I would like to take water from my canteen. Since so I saw a Gregory had such success and pour it all over my stabby staff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, your stabby staff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and you, you can get a, a plus D6 on your damage for that. If I get to damage. If we'll see. <laughs> Ooh, 10. Yeah. That's a 10 even. Okay, cool. And then roll your damage. All right. So you said a D what with the it's, additional? It's your, it's your regular damage plus a D6. Ooh, good, because that's more than double. Alright, that's six in total. Okay. So, do, 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 do. so where, do, where, do you, where do you stab him with your staff? Stab him right in his ugly eye. You, well, <laughs> he's floating in the air. I don't know that you're able to reach that necessarily. And you, Fine, you, you, I stab you him could, in his ethereal dick. You could, you could throw it like a spear if you want. Mm. No, I want to keep my staff. Okay. Um, I'll stab him in his, in his in his weird ghost crotch. Okay, yeah, he's, he's stab him in the uh, the the crotch. I'll be like, how dare you respect me? The, uh, the basic the, the crotch region. Um, yeah. And um, you uh, you're um, flaming. Yep. 
<laughs> and um, yeah, much like the others. Uh, so you so you hear the sizzle and the pop, uh, and it sort of opens up a, a wound on him. Uh, more for I fire sort of just spills forth. Um, and um, when this happens, he uh, uh, flies downward uh, and then like basically goes into the ground, disappearing from sight. Um, Grigori, you're making your way to the orb. Yeah, so I'm going to look over and go, I got it, Ironwall. I'm going to go punch that damn thing. Yeah. And I'm just going to take off towards yeah. that orb. So as we're the orb, can I get you to roll to fight danger? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to yeah. trip and fall on my own feet. Dex. <laughs> going to be Dex, great. Dex um, or Constitution. Oh, that's really sad. That's a six. <laughs> cool. I told you I was going to trip on my own feet. No, you're not tripping on your feet. Um, <laughs> as you, uh, as you're running to no, the I'm orb. I'm just going to be ass punched by Ghost Man. <laughs> <laughs> as you're uh, yeah, running to the orb, um, the, 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 the entity um, comes out of the ground. Um, and as he comes out of the ground, uh, he grabs you by the leg, pulling you up um, and slings you up into the ceiling. Uh, and oh. then, then, then you fall to the ground um, afterwards. Uh, so uh, for the hit on the ceiling, uh, six damage, and then coming back down on the ground to take four damage. Uh, both times Damn, you like the armor from that. You like armor both times. Um, as you sort of fall on, on the ground. Um, Gorm, what are you doing? Uh, bum rushing him. Uh, bum rushing the god, dude. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess what I'm going to do is when I get up to him, I'm going to shove my hand in his cr now crotch hole and kind of... <laughs> Kind of pull him towards me. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna grab onto whatever's in there, huh, and pull him towards you. <laughs> yes, I am. That's a ten. Okay. Scramble right, cool. him so up. You're gonna grab like his a... lava dick. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, because you're going for a grab, um, you, you grab him. You grab him in the in the the, the crotch region, um, and you've got him right. You've got him. You know, by the <laughs> meta by the metaphysical balls, I guess. Um, so. Uh, He's, he's sort of, you, you've got him held in place. Uh, do you yell anything or do anything while you're doing that? Uh, I'm, when I pull him towards me, I'm going to look him directly in the face and be like, your fight is with me. Cool. Uh, Danica, what are you doing while this is happening? Well, since Gorm was very, very vocal about wanting to stab the bone dragon in the butt, I'm going to be like, all right, Iron Wall, it's time to make your dreams come true. Let's stab this ghost thing in the butt. <laughs> So I'm gonna. T so basically, since he's grabbing it from that end, I'm gonna cup. I'm gonna use some more water from my canteen to uh, to recode re my stabby stick. Is and this just a threesome? <laughs> I don't know what it is anymore. You guys put yourselves in these situations, all right? I just gave you a good. So anyway, <laughs> I fail at this pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh. You, uh. <laughs> sure I don't want to see how I fail. Yeah. You, uh. Well, I, I give you plus one if that helps because he's he's sort of indisposed. Does that help? Um, yeah, but barely. Okay. I do have a handful of nuts right now. <laughs> he's a little indisposed. It's, it's a handful of theories. Maybe she something. can get plus two, one for each. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh. What's up? Uh, <laughs> So you got a seven. So yeah, go, yeah. go ahead and roll for damage then. Uh, all right. Remember, you get a plus six because you're you're, yep, you're all wet. Because of the water. <laughs> I'm ashamed She's of the things I'm doing. She's in the ass. I'm holding him by the balls. <laughs> I'm laying on the ground. Five. That's five damage. Cool. <laughs> Gregory's all low. Tired. I think he liked it. <laughs> cool. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, you, you stab him, uh, and uh, he certainly takes the damage. Uh, uh, he, he, after you stab him, he manages to wriggle free from uh, Gorm's hold um, and um, sort of goes up in the air. Um, what's, uh, what's Grigori doing? Uh, well, he's on his back, and he's picking himself up, and he's yeah. pretty sure upside down he just saw something he's only seen at one time in this brothel. Yeah, um, but he's 
he's a hundred percent sure that he's going to to punch the shit out of that orb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna he's gonna get up and just kind of push that in the back of his mind and uh, do it. <laughs> run fist first at that orb. Yeah, cool. Um, so uh, yeah, let's let's punch the orb. Um, <laughs> let's uh. What are we gonna punch this with? Because it's it's not it's actually not gonna be strength. Um, with my fist, and it is strength. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's like, actually, it's not. Fine, punch it with strength. <laughs> That's a nine. Okay. Um. So you uh you punch the orb, um, and um, it uh it lashes out at you, um sort of uh, setting you on fire for just a minute. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. So so you're going to take uh, just one damage. Um, but after that, that moment of pain, um, you find yourself um, in, in sort of that, that, water skin. that white, that white planar area. Now for everyone outside, Grigori does disappear, right? So what you guys, oh. you see him punch the orb, catch on fire and then disappear. Right. Pretty sure this magic was drugs, guys. Yep. That's awesome. I'm like a phoenix. Yeah. So you you are inside the orb. Uh, you're you're um, disoriented by all the bright light. We're gonna come back to you in just a minute. Um, what is Gorm doing? Uh, Gorm's gonna shout to Danica, "Escape!" <laughs> and then he's just gonna plant himself in front of the orb. What is Defensively. Danica? Okay. Uh, what is Danica doing? Weren't we supposed to get a necklace? Did we forgotten why we're here? <laughs> yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> uh, well, technically, I'm here to defend Gregory. Yeah. Maybe if you kill him, the necklace will fall out of him. It's like a piñata. <laughs> Don't I worry, I was fist deep inside of him. <laughs> I think the safest thing to keep uh, Gregory safe is if we finish killing off this guy. Or chasing him away or whatever. All right, so Grom is uh, in defense of the orb. Uh, Danica, what are you doing? I guess I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna hit the dude again. I mean, you you can use fireball. It it, it did hurt him before. You know, it just. I don't want to give him any more powers. That seems you know. like iffy. Yeah. There, it's gonna there. keep bleeding the fire out of him and, and and dousing him out. Just one of those things where it could go really well or it could go really bad. Yeah, I'm not taking that chance. I'm just wetting the stick again. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the pee hole. <laughs> like, but I don't, I, I don't get it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, hey. you, pull out, you pull out your water skin to to wet the stick, and um, as you go to apply it, um, the uh, the entity um grabs your stick, um drinking it out of your hand and planting it uh, right into um, your chest. Um, oh God. Right. Uh, you take three damage uh, as that happens, falling to the ground. Um, what is what is Gorm doing? Mm. Still just standing at the orb? I mean, that's fine if that's your answer. Or Gorm is... When when Gorm rested, Gorm got the ability to like switch out some of his spells. He switched one out, and he's now going to cast uh, Cause Fear, uh, targeting Baylor, and the object is the orb, so that he's afraid of it. Okay. All right. Oh God, yes. Uh, that's that's a twelve. Yep. So Baylor fears the orb, and he attacks it. Uh, but I'm still in front of it. Yep. So uh, Baylor starts going for the orb, um, uh, the 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 astral projection of of this entity who you don't know as Baylor. Um, yeah. uh, and so he's making a mad dash for the orb, um, you know, almost Superman style with fist outstretched. Um, meanwhile, inside the orb, um, Grigori is uh, just sort of wandering around in this place, um, and a figure starts coming out of the, uh, the the mist that is the brightness of the orb and it's uh, Grigori's grandfather mm, um, okay and Grigori says uh, as, uh, boy how's it been uh, it's been crazy yeah 
I went and punched this orb, and now I'm in this place, and I'm seeing you, and I'm pretty sure you're dead. Yep. But then again, I just thought I saw something back there that looked like it came straight out of a brothel from hell. So I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of confused right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so he says, shh, calm your mind. And so he, he, puts, he puts his hand on your head. Um, and you feel a, you feel, a, you feel a sense of peace, and your, so your mind clears. Um, and, but then it's flooded with these images. Um, so you're starting getting images of... Um, uh, these two gods. Uh, one of them is uh, is a more physical form of this astral thing that you see. The other one is uh, this other sort of um, you know wood clad uh, old man type of god. Um, and they're they're on a battlefield with these two armies, um, and um, they're fighting. And as they're fighting, the um, the earth is starting to come asunder, and magma is flowing up, and um, the eye is full of soot and blackness and people are just dying left and right. Um, and, um, then, uh, then you see sort of, uh, th these images of, f of faces, you see, um, these various sort of, um, people, people you've never met before. Um, and, uh, you get the feeling that these are heroes. Uh, and so, uh, then you're suddenly snapped back to being there with your grandfather um, and he says, uh, look, Grigori, uh, the end of the world is coming. And as hard as it is to believe, you're the key to stopping it. He says, 200 years from now, these, there, there's going to be a war between gods. And there's a select group of people that can stop it. Um, and only you can assemble them. He says, uh, you you'll be faced with a lot of trials and you'll be meeting them at various stages. Um, but remember these faces and when the time comes, you call them together and they, they will save this world from ultimate ruin. Um, he says, now this happens 200 years from now. Uh, that's beyond your lifespan. Um, so we're going to lengthen it. We're going to lengthen your lifespan. But to do that, we have to take something from you. Um, he says, we're going to double the amount of time that you can live, but you have to give up something important to you. And for you, it's your strength. He says, you'll no longer be able to be a fighter, uh, but you will live to see this goal completed. Hey, uh, Grandpa, will I still be buff? He says, you, you will retain your physical form. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but you, you won't be able to fight like you used to. You will have the strength of, of an average human. So, um, a, so, um, sort of, he tells you all this and so you're, you're flooded with all this information. Um, meanwhile, outside, uh, while you're seeing all this, um, Grom, this, uh, the, uh, this entity is headed right towards you. What do you do? Mm, I'm going to keep defending. Okay. I mean, if it gets close, I'm basically going to take the punch. Yeah. So you're, you're going to defend by attacking there, right? Okay. Yeah. So he's, he's upon you. So I'm going to swing my sword at him. Back, bitch! Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so yeah, roll, roll for that. Uh, that is a seven. Cool. Um, well, that's on your strength, and then you also get a, a plus one for defending, right? Cool, then that makes it an eight. Right, cool. Um, so uh, then yeah, go ahead and roll for damage then. D10, two <laughs> damage. Cool. Um, <laughs> I'm more focused on the defense than the offense. Yep. So, um, how, how do you attack him? Uh, he's flying directly at me. Well, at it, and I'm in front of it. So, when he gets there, instead of, like, a real attack, I just, like, bump him in the head with my shield. Cool. Yeah, so you, uh, you go to hit him with your shield, um, and, uh, it hits him in the shoulder, um, but he's mostly ignoring it because he's full of rage to get this fear, and you're in his way. So, um, as the shield hits, um, uh, hits him, um, he, uh, he grabs sort of, he sticks his hand up and grabs you by the neck and just pushes you out of the way. Um, and, uh, he pushes you into the pillar that's beside the orb there. Um, you take, uh, five damage. Danica, what are you doing seeing all this go down? Um, well, the stabby thing's not working so well, so I'm gonna wet my hands and try a magic missile. Okay. A seven, eight, nine. That's a ten. Cool. My plus one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's a 
that's a six, and then that's a four. So let's see. That's an eight damage. Okay. And did you, did you roll the extra d6 for being wet? Yeah, because okay. I only have a d4 for the magic missile, and then plus that is a oh, d6. Is so. magic missile only a d4? Uh, that's what it said. Let me look. Let me double check. But magic missile... Oh, two d4s. Okay, yeah. so I get one more. Yeah. Yay! Alright, and that's plus two more, so that's eight in total. Okay. Alright, I thought it was eight... Okay. So oh, yeah, no, that is eight. Okay, I was reading it wrong. Ten? Yeah, that's ten. Yay. Cool. Yeah. Good. By the by, I'm super down for this music. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, you uh, you fire the magic missile, and it's imbued with the water, which sort of uh, it is guided with it's the like magic missile. It's like reverse yeah. lay on yeah. hands. So when you shoot the magic missiles at him, um, they, they enter into his body, much like the fire did before, because uh, the magic passes through him. <laughs> um Cool. And um, once inside his body, uh, the water starts to spread and douse the fire. Um, and he basically disintegrates from the inside out um, and uh, sort of uh, just disappears, right? So, um, but also, just as that happens, um, the, uh, the orb uh, explodes, right? And uh, the shockwave from the orb... Uh, hits both Danica and Gorm, and um, when they hit them, uh, some things happen. Um, okay. Gorm, when you're hit with a shockwave, um, you're suddenly blessed with uh, heightened intelligence. Um, but at the same time, uh, you've been stripped of your connection with your deities. Um. Danica, when you're hit by the orb's power, um, you uh, you are imbued with um, like heightened magical power. So your 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 magical power increases tenfold, but you lose all ability to retain long term memory. <laughs> She's Dory. <laughs> 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 Super powered Dory. Yeah, and uh, oh, and man. and in the place of the orb lies uh, Grigori, um, clutching the pendant that you were seeking in his hands, um, somehow changed. Uh, so, what uh, what are you guys doing? Feel all tingly uh, and confused. Yeah, where where the uh, where the ghost bitch go, guys? What hey. what what ghost bitch? <laughs> uh, I am busy. Why am I here? Violently trying to communicate with my god. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 both kind of broken for sure. Hey hey, um, gu hey guy, why are you why are you yelling? Also, <laughs> uh, Grigori, the uh, the your your brass knuckles and all of your gear that you're wearing now fill much heavier than before like quite heavy that makes me sad yeah <laughs> Greg are you good yeah I feel okay just a little uh, you know muscly yeah don't make me punch you <laughs> <laughs> so um but you have a pen in your hand. Do you, I mean, do you tell them anything that you just encountered? Do you tell them anything about like? You, are you confused about the pen, like having the pendant? I'm very confused at the pendant. I have no idea how I got it. Yeah. Um, but I will relay that uh, when I punch the orb, that I uh, I got to visit with my grandfather, and he told me that uh, I am the key to saving the world. Cool. That's nice, nice man. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start trying to piece the orb back together since I was able to see my god maybe it'll work yeah so uh yeah y'all spend some time in, in the thing and nothing you do is really a, a, happening for you I'm um, so sad yeah um do you, I assume y'all leave at some point I mean what else am I supposed to do sure I'm Damn definitely go. weird I was Wait, let's go is that me of course that's you. What do you mean? Was that you? <laughs> yeah. Is it me? Yeah. 
that my name? <laughs> so, um, you, uh, you guys leave, right? Okay. Uh, and uh, Danica's, <laughs> Danica's just being led along. So you, you guys tell, you guys tell Danica about herself or whatever. Um, and, um, the, that's the, really cool, the, but the also kind of scary. The, Why would I be in a sewer? That sounds terrible. Right. Listen, just keep walking. Okay. Just keep walking. Yeah. Just keep walking. Come um, on, let's go. <laughs> so, um, eventually, eventually, you, you make your way back home. Um, but it's it's been it's been probably like three or four days since you make it back home, right? Because it's it's kind of a travel. Mm -hmm. um, what? Um, how, how is Gorm doing right now? How's Ironwall doing? Um, now, like I said, Ironwall is is a good bit smarter than he was before, uh, but the the loss of the communication with the gods has definitely got to, had to have hit him kind of hard. Oh yes, we are very very firm in our faith towards gods. Yeah. Um, honestly, he just thinks he's going to have to consult the council about this. He doesn't yeah. know what's going on. Does, is, is, does he feel a little angry and a little grumpy? Definitely a little grumpy. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably gonna persist for like the next two hundred years, but anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, y'all get back to town, um, and y'all, y'all do. He's take... also sworn to kill ghosts whenever he runs across them. <laughs> you, do, you do take the uh, the pendant to the uh, to the guild hall, um, and Gregory, you you turn it over to your your contact that gave you the quest. Um, the uh, the person you give it to, um, he uh, he pays you, um, and he says. Uh, Oh, yes. I've been searching for this for a lifetime. This will, uh, this will aid greatly in, in our, uh, in our quest. Um, and, um, he, uh, he pulls a cat out of, out of a bag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. He's got a cat. Uh, and he takes, he, he takes, he takes that crest and he sort of holds it to the side of the cat and it lights up and it oh. sort of absorbs into the cat. Um, Oh no! Yep. Um, and then he, and he takes sorry, the out of character. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and, then, and then he sort of puts the cat back in like a little cage off to the side. And he says, "For safekeeping." He just looks at you and he says, "For safekeeping." Um, and I look uh, at him and I'm like, "I don't give a fuck. Give me my money. I need to go." Yeah. Yeah. Gregory's like, well, "Whatever floats your boat." Man. Yeah. Um, you weren't even taking the money. Are you grumpy now and just taking your money? I'm so taking the ten gold that I was getting. <laughs> So, yeah, that's right, because you forfeited yeah, the rest. Yeah, you sure did. Hey, Danica, uh, you told me I could keep all yours, too. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sad. Yep. <laughs> so, um, so uh, if, we if we step back, uh, we're getting low on time, but if we step back from, from a, um, a player level, um, the emblem that, uh, that you were searching for, um, being all sun and, and, and snaky, um, is the emblem of Baylor. Um, yeah. and the, uh, the cat is ultimately the cat that sets him free later. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what you're saying is I just happened to catch the cat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. Actually, I thought it was, uh, Kratos, <coughs> not Kratos, um, um, uh, Kodroth. Kodroth that, that caught the cat. Yeah. Kodroth, Kodroth caught that one. Yeah. What did I do with the other one? You chased it away. You, you were chasing it. <laughs> you, you punch, you, you killed the cat or punched the cat in the face and then they hated you after that. Yeah. That's right. Um, yeah. So the uh, oh, uh. so the the cat that set the set the Baylor free. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't want it. He doesn't Aww, want it. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So um, it's not long after this, everyone loses contact with Danica, mostly because she doesn't know where she is or what she's doing, uh, and because Grigori was a terrible friend. Yeah. Um, eventually she gets lost in the woods, finds this guy, this guy named Arthur, um, who's basically fifty first dating her. Um, <laughs> and, uh, every, every, every day he teaches magic and new, but he doesn't realize that she's like supercharged with magic. And so when she finally does get off a spell, it just, just, just kills them both. Um, Holy shit. Yeah. Um, so, um, Grom, Grom eventually, uh, gives up on trying to commune with the gods and, uh, becomes a full-time merchant. Uh, he becomes very grumpy and jaded because he, he hates what he is. Um, still and, strong enough to protect myself, though. Yeah. But he's and, and he's smart, right? I mean, he's smart. Um, he just can't can't use magic, and uh, you know, he just sort of he goes from paladin to basic fighter. Sour, <laughs> he's like he's sort of sour and bitter. Uh, Grigorgi, um, uh, 
becomes a bard. Uh, he, he yep becomes a player, yo. He's rich. He can't. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's 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 got you know he's got some money on his hands, and so um, what one hundred and sixty, one hundred and sixty-five. Yeah, gold. gold. Um, Thanks, Danica. Right. Um, so he sort he sort of takes up an easy life, um, but all the while too, he's sort of you know waiting to fulfill his quest. And it's not till two hundred years later that he. He runs into the the uh, the people from the uh, the tavern that started the trouble, and when he sees them, he recognizes their faces not only from the tavern but from his vision, uh, and he knows like he's got to begin his 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 sort of collecting of people. And then you know it's it's only it's only a year after they return, uh, or no, actually it's a year before they return that he meets um, Melody and her crew, right? Um, he passes information yep. to them. Uh, because Melody's part of the same the same uh, guild, um, and uh, so, yep. And then then he meets uh, Lugus uh, and Mist once again uh, as they're passing through the uh, the town of the Resistance that he's in, um, and slowly piecing it all together. Um, and there we are. That is that is the tale of Grigori. So nice. Yeah. So. Yeah, we did it. Yay. <laughs> Any thoughts on your characters? <laughs> uh, I will make it canon that in order to become a uh, merchant, he ended up selling the gold chalice and the dragon's tail. Okay. All right. Cool. By the way, what do we ever do with that weird-ass key that I picked up? You still, got, you still got it. Not yeah. a thing. I just still got an Omega key that looks like spikes, yeah. apparently. I'll have, I'll have uh, you know, just just so we know. Danica got royally fucked in all of this. She yeah. did, but I will she got also meet make a it canon. pretty sweet dude. That Grigori, in his nice little house outside of town that he lived in for like forever, he he made a scarecrow and dressed it up all weird and crazy in memory of you because it scared the crows. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's actually a good thing too, though, Mike. Like maybe for whatever reason, that key could be used for an adventure at some point. Yes, yeah, it can. Because <laughs> you yeah, know, I'm sure that's the, we did happened. escape from we did escape from prison, maybe escape from hell. The uh, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 guild hall uh, will will exist hopefully soon. So, yeah. But um, yep. Yep. And then so next week, uh, as we discussed before, we're gonna do a uh, sort of a recap and commentary, a rewind, as, as you will, of the uh, the events. I'll, I'll invite um, all people who are involved in those too. So we'll see who all comes. But. Um, <laughs> We'll uh, be, be I know who won't. People. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but um, pretty pretty excited for that. Um, we'll um, be thinking about um, like um, scenes that you want to talk about. Uh, if you'll if you'll post in chat or whatever in the Discord or on the, uh, the Facebook. I want to talk about all sixty hours. <laughs> yeah. Of um, my character, yeah, in it's just from nine thirty until we die. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it's, we're still we're still capping the show at two hours, right? right. I so, don't want to talk about like you know his thoughts and theology and why he decided to do what he did at yeah. that very second by second. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, th- think about scenes you want to talk about. And you know, I can tell you exactly what Agnar was thinking. That looks killable. Yeah. <laughs> all, that all, was our whole bunch, though. We were all, a murdery bunch. All praise be to Kratos, right? <laughs> Praise Kratos. <laughs>